Hey, everybody, thanks for popping in. We are still waiting on Rico because he's awesome uh, and worth waiting for. So give us a few more minutes. We'll be uh, going live here in just a second.
Hey, Tabmate Tub, thanks for the follow. We're getting started soon, I promise, as soon as Rico's done singing 17 songs. We'll get going. Because <laughs> I, love, I love that guy so much. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. Thanks for all these follows. I wish I could name you all by name, but they're coming in faster than I can talk. But I'll do my best. Uh, thanks so much, and thanks so much to Rico for rating the channel. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed Rico, because I know you do, because he's incredible. Uh, <laughs> I've known Rico, Rico for several years, and grateful he is my friend, so... There he is popping up in my Discord, and then we'll be swapping over in just a second. Give me one second to get everything set up, including Rico, and we will swap over, and then you can see our beautiful faces. All right, everybody, Rico's getting started, and we are uh, going in two seconds. Thank you all so much for the kindness, and I hope you enjoy watching Rico flounder playing D&D &D for a little bit, along with the rest of our crew. one hey everybody welcome to my channel uh thank you all so much for joining us i know most of y'all are coming here from rico um thanks for the raid rico really appreciate it you and your your what are you drinking iced coffee yeah america runs on duncan apparently uh, every time i say that this channel gets at a couple hundred dollars, so <laughs> then I'll take it because my normal coffee, my that? normal coffee sponsor, does not pay me that much. So I'll send you a couple bucks if it makes you feel better. It Tyranny. should be from your coffee company, right? It should be from your coffee. Company. Uh, I own a coffee company called This Little Bean of Mine. Check it out, uh, yeah. Patrick. Tyranny is complimenting your shirt, so. Um, everybody, welcome. We will be playing a one-shot called the Wild Sheep Chase, and uh, I will be your 
uh, malevolent DM for the evening. Uh, please yeah, yeah. be gracious to me. This is my second time DMing D and D. My first time was with a group of people who had never played before. So please be gracious to me. Um, I'd like to introduce our players. Y'all are already familiar with Rico. Rico, say hi. What's up, everybody? Rico Fajardo here, uh, actor. You probably recognize my voice from things like anime. Uh, <laughs> and uh, all of anime. In anime, you say? Uh, I was just at KameaCon. I play Few in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh, I'm Taiju Oki and Dr. Stone, Nozel Silva and Black Clover, Mirio Togata and My Hero Academia, and most importantly, Officer Kingsley in Cruel Summer on television's Hulu. Boom. Also, The Chosen, because... And the Chosen, I'm sorry. I everyone else chosen. went to Bible college, so he's in For two episodes. Bible college, I played Jehoshaphat. <laughs> he w he's in two episodes of The Chosen. I punch an apostle. Yeah, and you're going straight Simon. to hell for that. Oh, you haven't gotten there yet. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, I beat the oh, shit out of that apostle. No spoilers. We don't want to know how sorry. this ends. Uh, man, you read the Bible. Oh, that stuff. <laughs> you read the book, yeah. yeah. It's fine. Come on, man. Do you read the manga? The manga. That's funny. Uh, Jesse, Jesse Black, I will, I will harness my inner Abed for this because... Um, uh, I, I no, I'm nowhere near as good as Ahmed. I can't, but I can say cool, cool, cool. Directly below me, uh, we have one of my oldest friends and business partner, Patrick Morrow. Patrick, give a little shout out. Hey everyone, happy to be able to enjoy enjoy playing D and D. You're cutting out there for a second, Patrick. I cannot cool. hear you. They were yep. curse words. Yeah. You cut out again. Dang, what is I think the the gain on your mic things. Gain on your mic might be a little low. That's okay. Uh we He's will go this way for a second. We also have Rebecca Poirier. Please introduce yourself. Uh, Rebecca Poirier. I am certifiably a nerd, I think, because yeah, we're in our nerd room. So this is our we're... nerd room. This is her stuff. Uh, <laughs> this is not mine. Oh, right, no, I, I am allowed to be near it. All the Star Wars <laughs> stuff is mine. Most of the toys are mine. Comic booky stuff are mostly his. But yes, we, we share that passion. Um, by day, I do accounting things at a bank. She so does numbers. It's, it's, that exciting but i am married to this this man so which yeah. says a, or a makes little life a little more exciting chris uh go ahead and introduce yourself hi my name's chris poirier and uh i do all kinds of random stuff but right now we mostly have our thing so columbus got game here in columbus georgia where we're trying to introduce a community of games uh, video games tabletop and role playing to youth in the community so that they have something to do after school that's nerdy and fun and also free so that we can engage a bunch of kids so that they have something to do so we're really been rolling on that kind of stuff and then i'm also a pastor so a lot of people look at me and go what pastor man plays the D and D and plays with the devil's dice and stuff the devil's dice that's the devil's dice, it's the devil's dice. <laughs> but it's fine because i've been a nerd and i've been a nerd for a while so i try to interweave those two things but we just all love playing D and D and um, Brett is in one of my games that I'm DMing, and Patrick's in that game as well, so this also is kind of like the little break for, I get to sit on this side of the screen and throw dice at Brett for a while. Um, yeah. so, all about it. And so, I've brought my, my, my Cheetos, and, and my orange drink, and I think I'm d and orange Brett. drink? Hell and yeah. your orange, and your orange beard. And my very orange beard. That's um, from the Fanta. So, yeah, it's like it's that much out. Fanta it's like and Cheetos. Yeah. Cheetos. It's, it's, it's just Cheeto dust. It's it's not actually red anymore. <laughs> it's all Cheeto dust. It started out blonde. Golly. Right. Um. Okay. Um. So we're gonna be jumping in into the thick of it. Um. Shortly, but uh, we'll go ahead and have everybody introduce their player characters. 
Um, you'll be introducing them just to the group because everybody's already coming in. Don't ug Katie C. Don't ug my into the thick of it because I'm going to do it more now. So are we in a tavern? Is that how this is working? Katie loves that, by the way. She's been a, a great <laughs> member of my community. Katie, keep going, Brett. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. <laughs> Um, so we'll go ahead and go in reverse. Chris, you want to introduce your PC? Uh, but of course, so Chris will be playing the part of Wallovar, the Minotaur Bard. Um, so he's a pretty tall dude because he's a Minotaur, but he's kind of hillbilly bumpkin-ish looking for a massive six foot five beefcake of a Minotaur, but he loves carrying around his drum, his weapon slash musician piece of choice because as a bard wall of ours had a very difficult life and so he chooses slam poetry as his performance method of choice amen so oh he's a very God. conflicted Please. individual but at least tries to be well dressed as he is a school of glamour bard so he does care about how he appears mm-hmm. and I will be switching to character voice from this point forward as we oh, go. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so now I'm gonna get judged by the guy that gets paid to make voices, so this is gonna be great. Judged! Man, no judgment. <laughs> Katie says you sound stressed but well dressed. Uh Land Poetry is fire. Thank you, Sid. <laughs> just sl- for sure. Imagine an org bard. An orc, an orc bard that would be hilarious um awesome uh, rebecca you want to introduce your pc yes you see before you a young woman tall her skin a bluish tinge her hair is very light almost crystal white and her dress is lightweight elegant but practical and as she moves you feel a small breeze You sense she is confident and capable of fighting, and in fact, behind her back, she carries a crossbow. And if you look closely around her neck, she wears a pendant of a winged woman. And she says to you, Greetings, my darlings. I am Zephyrin, but you may call me Zeph. I have spoiled my daddy, dear daddy's trust fund money. And I am here to pay penance to atone for my past sins of overindulgence. This is going to be an incredibly long <laughs> adventure. Oh my goodness. So I, I hope you will uh, help me in my endeavors. Darlings. Darlings. Oh. Patrick? Is this better? Yes. Awesome. Is this um, so uh, I will be playing uh, Gregor Alexander, um, a boisterous uh, looking uh, man of the faith, uh, who, while on his journey, um, has been given a, um, a quest of sorts to... Uh, search out evil uh, mm-hmm. and destroy it. Uh, his patron uh, has a special inf- on him, uh, and he is naturally boisterous and charismatic, uh, and will be um, probably the least entertaining character. Much, but I'll try. I'm very happy that you think you are entertaining. The least welcome. <laughs> the least. Enrico, would you like to introduce your character? Yeah. Um, there's a there's a sexy tiefling. Stands about six foot tall. Long, flowing white hair. And uh, skin the color of a, a dark charcoal ash. Um, I suppose he sounds something like this. Uh, his name is Ash. Ash... Ikor. Ash he Ikor. hails from a country far, far away. And a place to where uh, none of you probably even care to know much about. But he's a gentleman who thrives on adventure and enjoys nothing more than 
Eldritch blasting every single fucking thing he sees. Because um, he lives for power, and power seems to find its way into his hands all the time. So, for the most part, he's joined you lovely folk for a bit of adventure, maybe some shenanigans and tomfoolery, a bit of treasure, and uh, on to the next one. Somebody Ooh, says... You- yeah. Sidney let T me... says you sound like Russell Brand. Fancy fancy boy, let me see hands. Russell Brand <laughs> and Johnny Depp having a love child. That um, is Ash Ikor. Uh, Ash, Ash Ikor uh, gently provides his hand so that Wallavar can take a look. There's no dirt or anything under nails. Have you seen work ever in life? All I see is blood, my friend. Blood of the Fallen. Maybe I have misjudged you. This I cannot wait to see. (laughs) Can you see he's a gentleman? This might be fun. (laughs) I see that he's fancy, but I want to see him slay. (laughs) Oh, slay. (laughs) Thank you. I love to slay. Nice. We join... Our lovely adventurers, uh, they have been a party for a fair amount of time together. Um, they just finished um, some work in a town. Uh, it was a work for hire gig, um, and they were making their way to their next town. And they spotted this small, lovely village off in the distance, and they decided to go ahead and take a break uh, in view of this beautiful town. So, You find yourselves sitting on this nice grassy hill. Grass. I want to say grassy knoll, but that's a little too. uh, It's dangerous. It's a little too dangerous. Not go there, my friend. Look around the nodes, and we don't (laughs) talk about that job. That is a job we'd never talk about. I would like to detect evil. (laughs) You find yourselves on a grassy hill. You have splayed out a most splendid picnic. Hmm. You are relaxing. You are relaxing after a job well done. Enjoying this, the, the riches of your previous job. You find your purse is a little heavier. And your heart's a little lighter. Knowing that you have done some good in this world. So as you yep. seek to take this afternoon off. Enjoying your picnic. Your ears are accosted with the sound of rapid bleeding. As a lamb, sheep, comes bounding up the hill, headed towards you. And you just hear, you just hear. And you see, it's actually kind of a muffled bleeding because there is a scroll in its mouth and it makes its way to you to your picnic I know we've been on hillside for a while but it seems that this young sheepfolk has message for us I will go grab the message I I don't see sheep with message in mouth every day it feels like we probably should read the message so Zeph will go up and to the sheep um, and say hello there. What is that that you have? I'm pretty sure sheep does not speak common. The well, sheep, you see this recognizing the bleeding immediately stops, and you see this recognition in its eyes uh, as it as it frantically still is trying to like get some attention, and then it's got the scroll, and it offers the scroll up to your mouth, ma- uh, out of its mouth to you. It is offering offering the scroll with its intelligent eyes. I will take the scroll and I will, um... You take the scroll with... As you take the scroll, you read the wax seal inscribed in it says, this is a scroll of speak with animals. Well, isn't that convenient? Thank you. I didn't even have to cast speak with animals. That's great. (laughs) I'm not casting it. So you take the scroll? 
I'm starting to question the intelligence of speaking to sheep that brings us speak with animal scroll now. That's like... It doesn't weird anybody else out that the sheep wants us to speak to it? I will take it's, the scroll. Where did I you speak... find that? It's acting different than any other sheep I've known. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm not a shepherd, so what do I... Are you going to speak to the sheep so we at least know what it wants? Oh, my dear. Yes, of course. I take the scroll. I take a step back. And I say... uh, So can... What does the scroll say? As you you unfurl the scroll... um, Your eyes glance over it, and you see that it is indeed... A scroll that contains a spell for speak with animal. Ah, so it is not a liar. That's good to know. The sheep continues bleeding. It's looking, it's darting at you and then at the scroll. You and then at the scroll. You and then at the scroll. Going, meh, meh. Speak the words of the scroll. Little one, is Timmy in the well? (laughs) Immediately as you speak the words of the scroll, you begin to understand this sheep. And he begins to tell you, Screaming, oh, thank goodness. My name is Finithier Shinebright. I am a wizard from a tower not too far from here. You've probably heard of me. Um, I am pretty accomplished. Um, Cocky. The rest of us only hear a sheep still, right? Yeah, she's the only one hearing this. Yeah. No, no, everyone in the party. After, oh, as wow. she reads aloud the scroll, everyone in the party is immediately Great. endowed. You've and... cursed us with the ability. Am I going to hear all my food talk now? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> this he is something this. that I do not look forward to for the rest oh, of the day. Thank no. you. I immediately me. talk to a butterfly. I'm kidding. Sorry, this, sorry. Go on, sheep. This poor soul needs our assistance. He begins to tell you, Finithir begins to tell you that he is indeed the renowned wizard, Finithir Shinebright, that you have most certainly heard of, he says with a little bit of pleading in his eyes. Have I heard of him? Uh, Should I roll history for that? I was going to say. Um, go ahead and roll history for that. <laughs> well, hold on. First official roll of the game. First official roll. It's very good. Oh, are we rolling on our side, or is it? Are we doing it on the game? Right. You can roll in. Um, you can roll in D and D Beyond, or you can roll in your side if you want. Okay, I'll cool. do it on the app. Let's see. I don't know Either how way. the D and D Beyond overlay works. An eight. Okay, it does not tell me on the overlay. So, um, oh, you're confident that you probably heard this name somewhere. But you don't, you don't really fully recognize uh, this name. Oh, that's horrible. I think it sounds familiar, but it might have been a story. Was it a good story? He rolls his eyes and he says, no. "He rolls his eyes and he says, it's a you've story. definitely heard of me. You're just not remembering correctly." Well, enlighten us. Remind us. So Finithia Shinebright looks at you and he begins to regale you. Uh, As you are no doubt aware, I am the renowned Finithia Shinebright. I am a king of transfiguration. I have been hired by by kings and royals from all across the lands in order order to work my transfiguration. And so I am hired well, and so I took on an apprentice, Ahmed Nook. And Ahmed Nook was my apprentice, and despite my willingness to, to train up an individual, uh, something I have never done before, he grew jealous. He grew jealous of my, of my vast magical powers and turned me into a sheep. Oh, and I, I have been be jealous of your ability to the, okay. the transfiguration king had his apprentice turn him into a sheep. This is a good yes. story. He goes it really feels as though you you uh, really failed dramatically at the one thing that you claim to be very good at. The king, even <laughs> the king. <laughs> this man is a king. 
of he, the that, he is, that is neither here nor there. He tricked me. He <laughs> tricked me. He tricked me, and he was glorious purpose. Would you he say was, you were apprenticed in evil man? What was that? Is your apprentice an evil man? He didn't start out as such. He was but eager to first... learn. He, he was eager to learn, but he grew impatient. He did not like my methods and felt like I was taking too long. Yeah, and... I've heard that before. <laughs> and so, and so he was able to sneak in um, while I was taking my rest. I trusted. I trusted Ahmed. Uh, I, I trusted him. Business. And he was able to sneak in and caught me unawares. Oh, yes. Was it in the bathroom? Were you on the bathroom? Were you making toilets and he caught you unawares? It that is, is, that is none of done. your business. No, sir, that okay. is none of your business. Fair? It was. It was. <laughs> yes, thank you. We share a knowing nod. He's no... my reaction to nod. <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> he imprisoned me in my own house for the last two years. And I believe he grew a little impatient. Uh, and nervous, and so he locked himself in the tower, only venturing out in the greatest in the greatest of need. And at some point, he did leave my tower, and I was able to escape, grab the scroll, and I went to the first people that came to me. You have been a sheep for two years. Yes. And you're a renowned wizard. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do I so, uh, you go, go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll for it. We'll do uh, insight. The smart wizard man says hey, he's twenty-two. Here. Mighty roll. Uh, yeah, he 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 seems to be genuinely telling the truth. Damn. Uh, he Can't seems to it. be genuinely telling the truth. Um, you didn't pay much for wizard school, yeah? Because it doesn't seem it played out for you so well. So, I think I, this man's apprentice is evil. It it seems my apprentice has been conducting my work under my name. Which is why people I, have well, not I have a very seen good question. against the law. I, I ask a question, if I may. Uh, Ash asks, so would you like us to kill your apprentice then? With a twinkle in his eye. Always with the death, this one. I, I don't hate him. I just don't understand my generosity. Uh, I, I took care of him. I, I, I raised him. And after all, I am the great Shinebright, as you are no doubt aware. Yes, you've You've you constantly say. reminded us of that. So you seek understanding then. You want us to talk to this man and then relay that information to you and let you remain in this form. How are you going to pay us? Oh, this is a good question. Yeah, I don't I think have... this wool is worth that much. I've never eaten magical sheep, by the way. I feel like this You're would right, be a golden bread, opportunity. Though. Or would we be eating... Okay, question. Would we be eating mm. human flesh? I don't want to be a cannibal, but you are right now a regular rego sheep. Please do not eat me, because while I'm a sheep right now, I do not wish to die. Yeah. That's if, if you can help me, I there I have a decent amount of gold. And a decent, a decent, decent. <laughs> a decent amount of gold, oh and more than anything. I will offer you some favors. I am, as you have undoubtedly heard, the king of transfiguration. And there are some things I can Those offer. Those favors. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I do not, not interested in those kind of things. However, the decent amount of gold may suffice. Uh, where did you come from? Where, do you, where is this? Where are we going? Where did you come from? Uh, from my from my own tower. It is yes, it please. is it is due south by about two miles. Um, it, it it is there, and I must I must warn you that it is heavily guarded. I only escaped 
only ever so slightly. It is heavily guarded. With what? Well, you see, uh, you see, my 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 apprentice Ahmed Noak, um, and as he is talking, a loud howling fills the air. How oh, bless! Accompanied by a sound of angry yells and the occasional <laughs> scream that seemed to be drawing closer and closer. The cause quickly becomes apparent as a huge half-orc swaggers towards you, pushing his way through the crowd without a care for anybody else. You see him in the recesses of the city, just shoving people out of the way. And in front of him walk appear to be large wolves wearing iron collars, while a hulking figure in a dirty brown cloak travels in his wake with footfalls loud enough to be heard over the ruckus. The half-orc mm. sets his small eyes on you and strides forward with one hand resting on the hilt of a great sword. That sheep is Master Noakes. He desires to have it back. Well, that is certainly fascinating. This uh, <laughs> sheep seems to claim that he has been turned into sheep. I'm, I'm sorry, words... Um. He wasn't always sheep? Free will? Something like that? I don't know. The sheep's with us now. I believe what he's trying to say is this sheep is Noak's master. Yes, that... Did I get that right? No, I think that, that sheep belongs to Master Noak, and he would like his sheep back. Where is this Master Noak? That is none of your concern, and this is his property, and he would like his sheep back. Are you aware that this was someone's property? I mean, does it have color or ID tag or something? Uh, I don't see uh, any no trespass. Can I ask? I ask the sheep, uh, do you know who this idiot is before we kill him? The yes, sheep seems point. so. Finithier Shinebright seems a little nervous, and he and he says that 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 half orc that is that is Goose that is that is Ahmed Noakes. That's my apprentice's chief bodyguard. Oh, Goose is his name. All right, I'm going to intimidate this idiot <laughs> and say, Ah, yes, Goose, the. Small of brain. I've heard of you. <laughs> Go ahead and roll for intimidation. All right. I would be more than happy to assist in said intimidation because this goose character seems very small and funny looking. Then please also roll. <laughs> Katie is very in love 25. with your small of brain. We'll continue picking up food from the picnic. <laughs> Uh, you will take that nap 20 and enjoy it. Oh my god. We're scaring, scaring the shit out of this guy. <laughs> Goose, Goose takes a look around. And he is a little nervous, but he has two wolves, or three wolves, on these collars with these chains exceeding out. And he looks behind him at the hooded figure. And he is a little nervous, and he says... I know that Master Noak is very concerned about this sheep. And he gets a little nervous. Is that Master Noak? (laughs) He says, I will give you one more chance. That sheep belongs to Master Noak. I'm just a little curious slash confused. Are you in charge or strange hooded man behind you in charge? Because... What are we talking to here? I talk to one in charge. So is it him or is it you? Oh, the puppy is cute, by the way. It's a nice touch. <laughs> he rolls his eyes at you and he just simply says, I serve Master Noak. And that sheep that you were holding is his. You keep saying this like it is some type of bill of sale. I see no paperwork before me. So, do we need to beat your head in to get it clear, or are we just... I, I don't know. Uh, Ash, are, are, are we doing this, or are we doing this? I, 
Ah, uh, can I whisper to the sheep one more time? I'm about to kill your employee. Ah, uh, I hope that's okay. Finithier, By the so... way, the, clo the cloaked one. The cloaked one. Is that your friend? I, I don't know who the cloaked one is. I, I cannot ah, tell. Yes. I, he is just hulking and gigantic. Your, your, your sheep You look around. Eyes. <laughs> the party looks around and realizes that the hook cloaked figure probably stands well over seven feet tall oh okay he's a tall lad he's a uh, very that, hulking tall lad that is a uh, new detail to this fighting position and i step back about a, a, a couple of steps <laughs> what no no no. this is what? the guy behind him looking to to the sheep what type of being was your again he says he says, uh, Ahmed Nok was human. Ahmed Nok was human. Um, um, I apologize. I new time, new time himself. DMing. So I apologize. At some point, you did find out that Finithier was elvish. So an elvish okay. wizard. I apologize. I forgot to relay that. He smells of elf. I knew it. Known it all along. <laughs> Always known. Yeah, pointy ears. <laughs> Goose grows impatient, and he says that sheep is Master Noakes. <clears throat> um, I'm growing impatient, Goose. Uh, I think that if uh, we should take this sheep back to the town guard, where I'm sure uh, we'll get much assistance in returning it to his rightful owner. It's good. I like that. Goose yeah. makes eye contact. He turns around and looks at the hooded figure, gives him a little raised eyebrows, and then makes eye contact with the three wolves. And these wolves seem to have an almost human-like comprehension. And he raises his eyebrows at them as well. Roll for initiative. All right. Well, guess we should go ham. <laughs> yeah, then I guess we should probably beat them into ground. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, that would do nicely. Oh man, I got an eight. That's a nine. So Rico, you got an eight. You oh, said nine. Eight, nine. nine. My... Yeah. Thirteen. <clears throat> Ten for me. Man, y'all are. Yeah, not exactly. <laughs> well, Wallavar did great. Patrick, you did what? I was am going that? to go up front and smack the poochers on Snoot. And Chris, you Can did you... boop I the Snoot. I, on this, right. in, in the Snoot. Can you pull up the game log? Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up. Um, my uh, where where is that? Wallavar got 19. Don't worry, we're entirely professionals here. This we is are what one hundred percent professionals. Um, there's the game log. Okay, there we go. Wallavar did nineteen. So amazing, amazing. All right, one second. Man, we we told this boy, you know, f around and find out. Well, he's about to find out. He's about to find out. <laughs> Or we're we about to get told one of those things. I'm manually rolling because I'm a king. Okay, sorry. I am two seconds away from finishing. Man, it's so simple on the uh, character sheet. How you can that's cool. You can just click the thing and it rolls. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, it's so nice. D and D Beyond put is a so lot nice. of effort really into good. it. The the app is good, and like you can also do specialized dice that have like sounds and stuff. It's like man, oh, that's cool. But, yeah, you can also there's also like all the uh, the uh, source books are there and everything. Um, so it's super fun. 
I'm going to go back and forth, though, because somebody got me these really cool. What? Look at those Net nice Netron. stone dice. Look at those okay. nice stone dice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, immediately, as Goose makes this eye contact and raises his eyebrows, the hooded, cloaked figure throws off his cloak, and it's a massive brown bear. And the wolves, he lets go of the chains, and the wolves immediately circle up behind the party. Man. Chris. Weak ass. <laughs> I'm starting to think that we've made tactical mm -hmm. error. Wallavar, what do you do? All right, so I, I've got Orky McOrk pants in front of me and his hooded boss, now bear, in front of me and the wolves behind us? Correct. This is very, <laughs> very annoying, but I think the most appropriate thing for this bard to do is I take out my drum because I do not enter combat without a battle cry. Gotta have that beat. Gotta have that beat. All right. You take out your Pain. drum. <laughs> I that? just put the drum down next to me. It comes for you. And I cast Cloud of Daggers in the space in front of me where the orc and his bear friend <laughs> are chilling. Awesome. And I'm going to cast that at second level. Awesome. So you you said, uh, so where, where did you, who are you casting that at? the orc and the bear friend in front of us because no i'm i'm not about that all right go ahead and uh go ahead and cast that there's no right and enjoy some of that and so that's nine but the good news is it's going to be whenever they enter or still are in that space so enjoy that persistence for a bit Awesome. How long does that last? That's a good question. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And it's a five foot radius. Are you casting specifically at Goose or the Brown Bear? I'm trying to kind of get between the two of them. Between the two of them? Okay, then I will, and you did nine damage. I will go ahead and distribute that between Goose and the Brown Bear so they will each take four damage. Starts there. Why doesn't it tell me how long? Well, of our, that is uh, one minute. So. One minute with concentration. Yeah. Okay. I hope you enjoy Dagger Storm. <laughs> so I kind of just reach out and throw my hands, <clears throat> and daggers come flying off from them and just kind of start swirling in that space between them. Cool. Your daggers begin flurrying right between the two of them, and they both take a little bit of damage. Um, so, baller. It's cloudy with a chance of daggers. <laughs> he says that every time. <laughs> Why do you take the fun out of everything? I do? <laughs> uh. Somebody said, Outlandish Fox says, you're fighting Brother Bear, which probably, maybe this is Brother Bear. That's the Disney um, expansion. <laughs> this is the Disney, Disney expansion. expansion. Uh, this is Brother Bear. <laughs> They're a singing troupe, it seems. Oh, no. Not really. Oh, wait, look, this, I just got an email. Disney said cease and desist. <laughs> my, my familiar is stitched. Oh, crap. I just, I, summon I just had $200 to get out of my account. What in the world? Disney operates fast. Okay, um, awesome. Uh, immediately, the wolves uh, snarl from behind the four of you. Right. Can we understand their snarls? That's right. We do have animal speak. Uh, yeah. You know, you know what? The, the spell does not differentiate speak which ones. Uh, and they are just kind of raging saying saying you know we'll get you we'll get you 
I need a different voice for each one. Otherwise, I'm just not in the moment. Okay, so the first one says, <laughs> we'll get ya. And then the second one says, we'll get ya. And then the third <laughs> one says, we'll get ya. It's very nuanced. I like it. Man. It's the difference between blue spe- blue steel, magnum. We, sh- we should re- we should retreat because I so unique and separate. <laughs> I feel like they're so human is all. They're so. So, uh, the first wolf bites out at Wallavar, not liking the cloud of daggers, mm-hmm. um, and he, that wolf does, Oof. um does well I was looking at the cloud of daggers I was like that's a that's a shitload of damage <laughs> it's pretty good right I does just throw 8 a- HP of damage the second wolf whoa whoa they rolled to hit yes they, they lashed out with a bite or, I'm sorry no I apologize they did not roll to hit thank you uh, they did not roll to hit I am Okay, so lashing out, first wolf goes to Wallavar and rolls a pathetic four, so that does <laughs> not <laughs> land. Um, so I do the nature thing. The second wolf lashes out with a bite and rolls a five at Zeph, so... They're not very good at being wolves. Um, Can we mock them wolf? in wolvish? <laughs> Potentially. The worst wolves we've ever seen. And the <laughs> third one, the third one, does not take kindly to this mocking and lashes out at Ash, and rolls a jeez a seven. So a seven, I imagine, does not hit. These wolves are just pathetic. They are frustrated, but you see behind their eyes this extreme level of frustration that you have that is uncharacteristic of wolves. I've never seen a wolf as frustrated as these wolves. <laughs> it's, it's good. The little fur pupper is very annoyed. <laughs> and our l- be- sweet lady Zeph, it is your it is your turn. It's my turn. Okay. Um. <clears throat> then I Zeph is going to. Uh-uh-uh. Cast a hunter's mark on whichever wolf attacked me, tried to attack me. That would be wolf number two. Wolf number two. Wolf. Um, wolf. And he has not taken damage, so he does not get an extra d6 quite yet. But I will go ahead and uh, use my scimitar. Do I have a scimitar? I do. Yep. Mm, and probably whiff on that. That's a nine. Uh, okay, a nine against the wolf. Um, where is this? Sorry. Uh, that does not land. Yeah. Uh, but he still has Hunter's Mark on him, so. Awesome. Um, and what, what Hunter's Mark try? does... I apologize. So I'll read it to you so I don't get it wrong. Um... It is concentration, and you choose a creature within range. You put a <laughs> mark on it. Uh, you deal an extra d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack, and you have advantage on wisdom, uh, perception, or survival checks. Um, if the target drops to zero, then you can use a bonus action to move it to a different target. Perfect. And it lasts for one hour, so basically a long time. Baller. Okay, so okay, you right. swing your scimitar and this wolf again with uncharacteristic reflexes that are just not natural to wolves dodges out of the way. And we roll up to Gregor Alexander Goodman. Uh. Can I, as a free action, say something? Yes. Okay. Um, if you are like our friend, you would be better off, I think, to let us do our 
and get you all turned back into what you because y'all are um, and I, as an action you're all clearly uh, human <laughs> um, I will uh, what was in, that in you it. cut up for a second uh, as and then uh, so I'm trying to I guess persuade uh, them to stop attacking us okay uh, and, and then I'm going to follow that with an Hey, you need to stop at the summon uh, my sword. Okay. Um, then I will let you summon your sword. That your action is the summoning? Yeah. So, um, in in Gregor's hands manifests this um, thin, slightly curved um, like shiny metallic probably a blade with you cut out the blade. last you cut out the last bit <laughs> yeah a uh, four foot long blade okay uh with about a foot. awesome all right <laughs> your your sword is there um the wolves or the the creatures just kind of look and they they roll their eyes at you um, they don't. They don't really care. Um, about wait. They rolled their eyes at him, saying, "Like I know you're. You know, let's let's transform you back." Yes. These motherfuckers. <laughs> and as a as a bonus action, I will uh <laughs> cast a spell. Um, thunderous smite. Awesome. Uh, Cody Kitten three fourteen. Thanks for stopping by. I enjoy the rest of your work day. Watch this. Smite is very good. All right. So you cast Smite. And... First level spell, Thunderous Smite. Okay. My uh, wep- weapon... 300 feet. What was the first part? Sorry. I you keep cutting out and I apologize. I do not know why. Uh, my weapon is vibrating with, like... Okay, uh, go ahead then and roll for some uh, roll for some damage for thunderous smite. Or no, it's, no, it, it's it's being held onto the the blade. Oh, okay, sorry. Yep, you're good. Infuse all right. the blade. So, <clears throat> all right, and that's that's the end of your turn. And Ash, it is your turn. Well, well, well. Um, Ash rubs, rubs his hands together and, uh, with free action says, uh, based on, uh, kind of out to his colleagues, well, it just feels just like the last time we fought together and when we figured out that the mastermind was the, uh, beholder in the back, I'm oh, assuming... That was, that was a good one. Yes, do that again. I'm assuming that it's going to be that. that guy back there pointing at the bear. You know, because the bear must be this gentleman transformed. Anyway, uh, let's go ham on him. So, uh, yeah, Ash cracks his knuckles and uh, goes, Oh, I don't know. Why don't we cast Eldritch Blast? And so... <laughs> um, it's a goodie, but it's a goodie. Um, so it looks like since I'm level five, it's, it's, you get two, two rays, but I got to uh, go for hit first. I have so much charisma. So All right, I'm gonna anyway, hit... I started blasting. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. I started. <laughs> I started Eldritch blasting. <laughs> I got a 19. It looks like. And you're going uh, for the plus, brown bear. Plus seven, so that's 26. Does that hit? You're going for the brown bear. I'm going for that brown bear. That brown oh. bear. Yeah, that <laughs> definitely hits. All right. Now we're gonna roll for some damage. I guess. Do I have to roll twice for both of the beams? Or yes. Okay. Well, let me... I guess I'll resolve the damage for the first one, then. Okay. 1d10 um, plus 4. It is, uh... Looks like 12. That's 8 plus 4. That's 12 damage. Okay. Now, then we'll roll for that second one. See if it hit. We got a 14 plus... Plus 7. That's 21. Let's do some more damage to this bear. Assuming that's a hit. Um... Yes, uh, yes, that is also a, a hit, and then you rolled an eight for damage. Eight. So 20, 20 deeps, 
Go into that brain bear. Gosh, I need all your fun toys. <laughs> Rico, happy come to do my come come do my live stream setup. Oh my goodness, please. I'm I'm straight up. Uh, yes, happy, happy to do it. Man, he is extremely unhappy. He roars out. I would be How happy dare to you? roll up like that, you big old idiot. <laughs> and he he stumbles back, and he is not in a good way. Um, Those are Cthulhu tentacles. You don't know what part of his body he's striking you with, but certainly hurts whatever they are. Immediately, the brown bear comes out, and he turns directly to Ash and says, How dare you? Well, you know. <laughs> and he reaches out to slice you with his claws, and at the same time, you see his claws and his bite come in. Just this crazy oh, claw bite. And so he uh, he has a. Uh, He's wearing he, like a robe. He rolls a ten. Which I am guessing does not hit. Oh my god, like, I'm not wearing anything. I think my armor class is like 11. <laughs> so simple. What an idiot! You're all so bad at hitting us! <laughs> uh, and Ash just smiles knowingly and just... Can I guffaw? ...sidesteps and guffaws <laughs> and just the sidesteps. The helps me dodge. I go, ha ha ha, and I'm going to Eldritch Blast again. I stay like this. I'm going to let you know, I'm going to do it again. And next time. KDC <laughs> yeah. is very excited that Ash says the most casual things in the most spiffy of ways. And Ice Cream Dragons, Ice Cream Dragon is so excited that you Eldritch blasted the bear. I meant to say that earlier. It's all we're ever going to do, my friends. <laughs> Maybe some press to digitation, but mostly Eldritch Blast. And so, um, immediately, Goose gets very angry, and you can just see that he's so frustrated. And then he just looks around and says, That sheep is Master Noakes. And you all get a bonus action to roll your eyes at him. You are very dedicated. Oh. Very good, but it doesn't look good on you. <laughs> Um, and believe. so he immediately, uh, he immediately pulls his great sword from his sheath, and he is very un unsatisfied with which, with what you have done to his brown bear, Ash. <laughs> and you so, and so he attacks <laughs> you. Nothing <laughs> works, brown bear. <laughs> I am the demand satisfaction. He attacks you, and rolls. Oh my gosh, you are, you guys are so lucky with these dice. Uh, he rolls an 11, and in my house rolls, like Chris's, uh, the tie goes to the player. So he rolls an 11, and... Ooh, that was close. And <laughs> so he warmer. just he just shaves. I don't know. Does, mm. uh, does Ash have a beard? Uh, Ash does not, not have facial hair. Not anymore. Not he anymore. Just... Hair. A he had a wisp, and so he just, as the great sword is coming, uh, Ash just turns his cheek ever so slightly and just says, "Thanks, oh. I needed a <laughs> shave." <laughs> what an ass! I love it. Oh, and Wallavar, it is your turn again. I'm gonna quickly duck out to grab a beer. I'll be like thirty seconds. Thirty seconds, and immediately Ash dies. What? <laughs> For a moment. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to need them to take one of those, some, if they're still in that area of them swirling daggers, I'm going to need them to take some more damage. Uh, is it, it's at the upkeep of your turn? At the upkeep, um, you used to play magic, the start of your turn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then they will both take, uh, they're in the same spot. They will both take minus, 12. uh, 12. Okay. Uh, so six each because we're distributing it between the two of them. Um, 
Let's see. Goose just looks at you and says, Ugh! But the brown bear says, um, the brown bear just kind of growls. Um, and it, despite the fact that you can understand him, it is more bear like than a human growl. Uh, and he stumbles a little bit. Well, then. How far am I from the brown bear versus uh, Goose? You are you are in you are in the square adjacent to them. Okay. So five foot square adjacent to them. Okay, so they're both kind of hanging out in my space then. Yes. They are not ones to back down. Fair enough. Um. Well, in that case, then. It's time for a little bit of the fight. And Wolivar draws his longsword and looks at uh, Goose. He's like, this, my heart. (laughs) And he swings. 17. And a 17 hits. Yeah, so. It's a lot. 3D. Boink. Ooh. 13 damage against Goose? Yes. Okay, we're getting far enough in to the whiskey that I need to pull up my calculator. Cool. I should have, I should have uh, telepathically communicated to my party. I'm like, are we, are we burning down one of these fools? Or are we just kind of like okay, oh, you're, spreading you're the love? Really the bear's not looking great. I wanted to get some damage into Goose because he's the one that keeps doing the my sheep, and it's like, well, good for you. Let's keep. Don't let him taunt you. Stay on target. <laughs> I can't <laughs> shake him. So Wallenbar just kind of looks at him and just <laughs> he is very unhappy with this. You you take a he takes a big gash. Across his kind of shoulder area on his left side, and Wallabar just kind of draws the longsword down into the cut and back towards himself, and just flicks the blood off at the bottom, and he goes, <laughs> "Oh yes." And then Goose just kind of just looks at it and just Eww. licks it. What a nasty! <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "Yes, I am." I, w- I whispered to my party. When do they actually hit us? <laughs> so immediately the wolves turn around and they try to corner in on the sheep. <laughs> they try to corner oh, in on Shinebright. Uh, but trying to get to Shinebright, uh, they immediately uh, they immediately attack um, Gregor. And so they try to lash out with a bite. Um, and the first wolf rolls a, a, a 14. Is that a hit? Glances off the armor. Nope. Okay. Uh, the wolf grasps a bit of the armor and his teeth slide off ever so slightly. Is very good one of us has the armor that actually works, yeah? <laughs> the second wolf, feeling and knowing that Hunter's Mark, watching Zeph, knowing that Hunter's Mark has been cast on it, uh, does not like that and immediately lashes out at Zeph. And he rolls a 17. Oof. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh oh. The first damage of the evening. Uh, I thought it was all a dream. <laughs> up until you actually hit one of my colleagues. Well, now we'll play for serious. Thanks for More that. Eldritch Blast. You take 10 <laughs> HP of damage. That is a lot of blood. Which puts you... Uh, uh, 28, 28. 28, okay. Yes, sir. The overlay hasn't... 
Update. No one oh, well. makes art Zeph bleed on blood. <laughs> the third wolf looks and uh, is very unhappy with Wolivar's good attack on Goose uh, and jumps at Goose from behind and rolls a nat 20. Ooh. Which I'm assuming hits. It doesn't hit. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so crazy. Uh, it yeah. immediately does. Eight damage. <laughs> what a big old dumb. <laughs> you you said not twenty. I was scared. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a critical of some kind, but uh. No, nope, he just sunk his teeth in really good to uh to a bad spot. Oh. Oh, the, not the good spot. Zeph- Sink your teeth into the good spot. Like a mediocre spot. Mediocre yeah. spot. <laughs> Zeph, it is your turn. Oh, these wolves are just they need really some more wolf training. Um, so Zeph is angry, and she's just going to light them on fire, hopefully. So the okay. wolf that attacked me, I'm assuming that's Wolf number two, the same with the hunter's mark. Yes. Uh, A 22 should hit. That hits. Um, I don't want to try Microsoft 365 free trial. Thank you. Okay. That immediately does a thousand HP of damage. (laughs) Just annihilates. Unfortunately, I'm a wolf. (laughs) <laughs> it kills everyone in the party. You're TPK. Oh, damn. All right. GG's, All right. Thanks, guys. everybody. Was it was a great stream. Uh, Windows <laughs> killed us. Thanks. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. That is five damage. <laughs> an entire five damage. <laughs> a whole five. All right. But, but it is inflamed. So. Okay. All right. So that is Wolf Wolf uh, 2? Yes. yes. Uh, but you do. So you didn't hit it with your. Hunter's Mark only does with a weapon? Is, did I read yeah, that? Yeah, Hunter's Mark should only be a uh, weapon attack, so it doesn't... Um, okay. I can't just add a d6. I okay. rolled 2 8. There was a chance to get 16 points of damage, but you know. Well, you tried. Okay, and you did... How, how, 5? 5 damage, yeah. Okay. Uh, he stumbles back. That, that's a pretty big blow to him. Um, very unhappy, uh, kind of limping at this point. You see a burnt patch of fur on kind of the foreleg. Um, and he's what exactly does burning wolf smell like? Um, smells like have you ever set a dog on? I'm just kidding. (laughs) Wait, what (laughs) smells like? Sorry, I do not. Disclaimer for this channel, I do not and have never burned a dog except a hot dog, no which is delicious. I don't harm animals. Oh, my uh, God. Sorry, Katie, I did not. Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to break everyone's heart. I just couldn't hold myself back. Uh, it smells like burnt hair. Um, so, um, Wolivar, as a minotaur, is pretty... Uh, um, <laughs> Is pretty used to the smell of burnt oh, hair being is... covered in most hair, so this is most unpleasant. <laughs> All right, and Gregor, it is your turn. All right, can I make my way around the other side of Goose, um, opposite of uh, Wallavar and Flank? Yes, you have plenty of space to do that, and I will give you okay. advantage. Awesome. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to bring up my sword. You seem to be struggling with using this large sword. Care to learn? And I swing in. All right. Katie, I don't think anyone was expecting Poppy Arson. (laughs) No one ever expects it. All right. So no one ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. Go ahead. Sorry, (laughs) Patrick. Does a 17 hit? A 17 for Goose? Yes. Um, a 17 hits. Awesome. 
So I'm going to do Greatsword plus Thundering Smite damage. Okay. Here, here comes the Smite part. Favorite part. So 16 damage plus... Another seven for a total of uh, twenty-three. Yep. And uh, he must um, make uh, on the strike. Um, there is a loud crack of thunder uh, that can be heard up to three hundred feet away, dealing an extra two d six damage uh, thunder damage. Additionally, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 10 feet away from you and knock prone. Okay. So I, I swing in sideways and try to just knock him around, knock him aside. Okay. Um, so his strength, he rolls a nine. That does not meet the save DC. Okay, so he is knocked back so and he is prone. And... Awesome. So as you hit him, go ahead. You can describe the, the knock back. So yeah, I swing in with both hands, holding the uh, the long, uh, thin bladed sword, uh, and on impact, it cracks with the sound of thunder, and just knocks Goose this half orc about ten feet, ten feet to the side. See, and he as he notes. <laughs> as he stumbles, he falls and just kind of like lands in an awkward position that you can tell it's going to take him a second to get up from. You All good? right. Look over it. Uh, All right. Apart. And Ash, you just watch this and you've seen this happen. You've seen uh, you've seen your good friend Gregor just knock the shit out of. Uh, <laughs> how does Twitch deal with profanity? They don't like it. Knock sure, the okay, poop. No, no, it doesn't matter. As long as it's like 18 plus. But anyway, it's you're cool. You're cool. Uh, question. So, yes. Can I? How how does Goose look? He's a half. In regards to, huh? uh, I mean, it, like not like not racially. I mean, like health wise. Like, is he gonna die? Gosh, why are you Jeez. Jeez. Red, I was asking about Goose's health. I care about his race. I don't see race. Well, his face is in the. Med I only right see now. HP. All right. How okay. like. Is he is he bleeding profusely out of he's horrifying? He's pretty. Like... Um, he's pretty much. He's at this point where he, despite not even being prone, would probably have a hard time getting up. Okay. Um. Well, I don't. I don't suspect that these wolves are going to try to actually eat this sheep because attacking the sheep would be the easiest thing to do. So I don't think we're in immediate danger there. I am going to continue going ham on the bear. Um, so, that said, um, yes, I'm anyway, going to cast... I started blasting. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> I started blasting. So, <laughs> so I'm going to roll, roll for this Eldritch Blast. And uh, let's see what we got here. 17 plus 7, that's 24. That hits. Um, smack that bear with the, with the... Let's see how much damage we got. All of it. It's a, that's that's a that's a eight plus four. That's twelve. Please describe what it looks like to me. What that it looks was like only to you one. when he dies. That was only one tentacle. Is he dead? Hang on, let me do another tentacle. You want to do a second one? All right. Well, because there's two shots. All right. I guess go I could for technically it. send. I, technically, I could send it to someone yep. else. So let's do that. So as I send the first tentacle, um. Ash goes, ooh, this is a this is a, a mighty thick tentacle. Uh, have you seen this anime? It flies out and it smacks the bear twice. I don't think that's called anime, Rico. I <laughs> yeah. think that's called something else. Uh, smacks the bear twice, twice <laughs> like like a like a like a Looney Tunes. It goes like T -t 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 -t. And then it drives into the bear's eyes and mouth and 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 just like explodes its brain. Is that possible? Is that okay? You're the one with the Eldritch Blast, not me. Hey, I don't control the tentacles. Some would say they control me. Anyway, I've got one more. Uh, I <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> so, uh, we've got one more, says Ash, and throws the other the other tentacle at a goo. All right. Which, uh, let's see if this hits. 
Ooh, not so good. That is a 5 plus 7. That's 12. And we are going for goose, and that does not land. That tentacle just oh, tentacle. goes and writhes out you at see, goose, and he goose gets so hungry sometimes. And goose kind of sidesteps and says, "That sheep belongs to Master Noke." Um, I don't know he's mouthing off. That right? was because, just a ah. testing tentacle. He kind of rolls. You're right. He's he's. Oh wait, so he's prone. So yeah. Um. I'll give you advantage on that. So go oh, really? ahead, so, roll that attack. I thank you for reminding me. Go ahead oh and roll that. Oh my goodness! I feel bad for you, goose. <laughs> that I will give you. Missed you once. It's I don't funny. think it's going to I miss don't again. Bad for him at all. <laughs> Dude, that's better. That's eighteen. An eighteen hit? will hit. All right. Well, so one. T or I guess technically it it went past him. And it maybe slid across his leg, but because we're advantage, it slings back and oh, what is it? What, I can't see what back. number it is. It coils back and hits for eight. He is unbelievably unhappy. Um, He's so unhappy. He is but. so unhappy. Uh, you've re you're really just at this point into the thick of it. Uh, oh. And um, and he is knocked back or tripped a little, but he is uh, he is not in a, not in a good place. Um, he's bleeding pretty prof profusely from a lot of places. Um, and he has an eldritch tentacle wrapped around him. Yep. Yep. That's true. <laughs> and. That's not a good and Goose turns around, and uh, he is really unhappy. And again, he goes straight back at Ash. Um, and so oh, he's rolling at disadvantage, though, because he's still pr I'm s he's still prone. Um, but that little guy's trying. He's trying. Do the best. And he rolls a. Um, He rolls a a ten. Ooh, so close. Uh, so he's laying on his back. He's tripped. He's got an eldritch tentacle wrapped around him, and he lashes out with his whirling great sword and just misses. Um, just misses. <laughs> I bet you feel like you should have trained before this. I mean, it's all the regrets you must be feeling right now, Ash. Uh, and he says, he says, the sheep belongs to Master Noak. This guy better not be like possessed and we're killing this poor possessed man. Yeah. I think he's under it's fine. We get XP. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, so uh, immediately, uh, Wallavar, you watch this unfold and you're just <laughs> Wallavaring it up over there and it is your turn. So I got ch I got pupper chomped on before, so my my cloud of daggers fell when that happened because I most likely broke concentration when yes they oh, they that's they channeled died. that's badass dude yeah just so, slicing away so I feel the only thing that Wallavar would do at this point is he looks at Goose on the ground he goes ah, puny man I hope you're ready for this and I reach out with my my hoof hand and, kind of just, <laughs> and just kind of point at him and go, would you like me to sing a song for you, little one? Let me sing you a song of my people. And I cast Vicious Mockery at oh, him. Oh, I love Vicious Mockery! Vicious Mockery is a breath weapon. Oh. <laughs> yeah. um, it's one of my so favorite beams. So I'm going to need a wisdom save on that one. Okay, so a wisdom saving from Wolf one um no on goose on goose okay yeah. sorry a wisdom uh saving please let from... this be a finishing move on him dude because i want to hear you describe <laughs> he dies from the mockery it's, can we oh. can we i don't know if it it's can't not, see it that is a three yes oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> so give me some damage uh four points Four points of damage. 
from the ground with this eldritch tentacle wrapped around his leg. He just spews at this point incomprehensible vitriol. Are you still with us, little one? Or did the words cut you so deep that it hurts? And he just <laughs> looks with sheer anger in his eyes, continuing to spew inhuman, in common vitriol. Well, at you least he's not it. saying his same old line. That's good. And then <laughs> with a big breath, he takes it in and goes, That sheep belongs. <laughs> To Master yeah. Nook. But I wonder who the sheep head. belongs to, though. If you could only answer us this one question, we would stop fighting. And in Orcish, <laughs> he says some things that I cannot say on Twitch. Will I someone to him at Infernal. Think out of its misery? It's starting to get annoying. Um, the first wolf did not... The first wolf saw this and immediately tries to get a little bit closer to Shine Bright and uh, lunges uh, and lunges over at our good friend um, Gregor. And yeah. that first sheep oh, oh, rolls brilliant. trying to attack. Is Goose dead? He is not dead. And rolls an eight. Not quite dead yet. Not quite dead yet. Not dead yeah, yet. Like, casually step just Flesh like boom. half a step to the left. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second wolf, still not liking that Zeph has put her mark on him, uh, tries to lash Getting out at better. Zeph. Getting better. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> rolls fire. a 13. No, no. And rolls a 13 God, against that. Zeph. Does that, that hit? Holy grail, dude. So oh. good. Oh, did he roll? What? Yeah, uh, 13? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, that second wolf um, does five damage. Is she the only person getting hit here? Uh, you are really yeah. <laughs> getting tanking pretty good. Well, it's Sorry, like, I don't have any healing spells. Three of us are a little squishy. Yeah. <laughs> And then the third wolf just did not like the amount of damage that was done to Goose and attacks Ash. And Brilliant. that third wolf rolls a 10. Oh, you none of you can hit me. Um, <laughs> and Zeph, fresh from her bite wound, it is her turn. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> Zeph. Stretches out her Smokies. arm and casts Flame Blade. And uh, goes after the second wolf. Okay. I hope. No. No, really? Really? 11? That does not hit. No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Ooh. So she whiffs with her fiery sword. Uh, uh, oh, no, I mean, you're, you're a pretty talented. Uh, you're. You're a pretty talented Jinsai, so, uh, Druid. So I, I won't say a whiff, I'll say the wolf with its with its keen perception that you recognize as a little non-wolvish dodges out of the way. A non-wolvish perception. <laughs> perceive, perceive. This eldritch blast. <laughs> And Gregor, Gregor immediately notices this and says, it's my turn. Says, I am here. I am here. Are you all right? Are you dying? (laughs) I I look over at her. Are you okay? Can we finish this and then come help you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm not, you know, I'm not in bad shape yet. That's all I need. And then I do a, a quick swirl with the sword and come down on that wolf that came at me. All right. That was wolf number number one. Okay. All right. And go ahead and roll. Um, and as part of that, 
what I'd like to do is uh, cast a bonus uh, bonus action spell, or sorry, no, it's an action spell, um, Booming Blade, and it, it is with an hack. So. Okay. Um, oof, twelve. Against the wolf will hit. All right. So the wolf will take 13 plus 3 additional damage from Booming Blade. So 16 damage total. And the wolf is uh, then... Well, just uh, go ahead and describe to me how it dies. (laughs) Um, On the hit, uh, the attack, the sword is vibrating with magical energy again. Um, and lets out a th- another thunderous boom, though slightly smaller than the previous one. Um, and uh, as I sheathe the sword into the wolf, it just slides down and ceases moving. Sheath the sword into the wolf. That's gnarly. <laughs> Sheathing the sword. All right. And Ash. Let's put something your... in a. Uh text for you guys it is you your turn the text channel. Yeah, you got it um <clears throat> well um uh, i think that uh it seems as though uh you're handling the wolves quite well and uh our good friend of the ground who still has several uh, coils around him should receive more gifts from the eldritch gods and receive several more eldritch. <laughs> so i'm gonna do that pretty man do it. <laughs> All, All right. right. Um, so you're hitting Goose. Yeah. Okay, he's, is he still it. on the ground, dude? That's sad. Uh, he, he's gotten up. He has gotten up at this point. He is no okay. longer prone. I have some honor. I just want to completely, you know, he deserves to get his skull exploded oh. on his feet. We all know that Ash has very little. I would have been good <laughs> making him vicious not into the ground, but this is good. All right. Anyway, uh, we're rolling for the hit. And we've got a, what is B? Is that 20? Ah, yes, 27. I think that's a hit. That is a hit. That's Uh, a crit, baby. A crit. So what happens with that? You rolled a net 20? Yes. Yeah. Um, Okay. So um, (laughs) I I will give you, you, what are you you attempting to do one more time? Eldritch? I'm Eldritch blasting him. I was about to do it again, but if one will do it. (laughs) Um, I roll for damage. (laughs) <laughs> Roll for damage, and in this point, I will give you advantage on the second damage. So the first one was... Oh, it, it did it for me, it looks like. Crit, so 17 damage total. Okay. As a crit. Um, Describe to me how Goose dies. I, oh, man. Ooh. You know, the thing about it is, is that... Another tentacle came down, and there was already one coiled around him on the bottom. So they kind of just, like, vivisected him. And then went like this and scooped up all of his innards and left nothing but a flesh suit behind. Nice. That's not my call. That is what the Eldritch Gods want. So I didn't decide that. They decided it's not my fault. But they crave the flesh of goose. And as they slither away, you can hear... In um in infernal, um, this sheep belongs to Master No. <laughs> belongs to us. <laughs> in infernal, so my colleagues might not understand it, but uh, Ash kind of chuckles to himself. He's like, oh, "You, you guys, oh goose, oh, classic oh, goose. You are gruesome. Uh, I've got Plus. one more." There. Should I swing at a... I'll Eldritch Blast another wolf. Uh, which one is the most wounded? Wolf number two. I'm going to... Please. The tentacles go away and a fresh one comes out. Sadly, it's not as strong as the former. It is a 14. 7 plus 7. That will hit. Oh my goodness. Incredible. Let's see how much it does. Oh, well, that's a 7 plus 4. That's 11 damage. And describe to me what this wolf looks like when he dies. So this, th- there's a, after those two tentacles, like, suck up all of Goose's guts and leave that kind of flesh sort of like blanket on the ground, 
Um, one yeah. lingering one comes out kind of like the alien mouth, well, the big mouth and the little one comes out and the very tiny one comes out and uh, it goes really fast, like laser quickness. And it just anime style swordsman chops one of the wolves in half. Again, I didn't decide that. The Eldritch Gods, they like that. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Rico, your 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 fans are a little they're, they're not used to Mirio being so being so violent. Good thing it's not Mirio. <laughs> right. This is Ash. And he's chaotic good, by the way. Um That is that is flawless. So the second <laughs> wolf the second wolf falls, full anime style. Um for some reason in this uh in this uh, land of D and D. They are familiar with anime, and uh, this third wolf <laughs> looks, and you just hear him go, "Not an anime death," and he <laughs> runs off in fright. Nani? <laughs> End combat. Ah. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Do any of us get an attack of opportunity? Yes. Just running away. Yeah. yeah okay. Give- so um. Don't let him leave. Don't let him leave. I will, I will, I will give, uh, I think the closest to the walls has consistently been Zeph. So Zeph gets an attack of opportunity. Yeah. He's trying to run. You get an ap- ac- attack of opportunity. He's trying to she run. Kill that yes. coward. I'm just going to hit him with my scimitar. Okay. And that should hit 23. Ooh. Uh, that'll hit. The price of cowardice. And then seven damage. And um What's your hunter's mark? No, that that was wolf too. No. Oh, okay. Um you take off its front paw and it looks at you, it's bleeding out its right front paw, and it's again this this human like comprehension of fear and it just continues running with three legs. Oh, and you end a determined one. You end combat. Well, right. that was relaxing. Relaxing. Shine Bright says, "Good, good. Thank you so much for defending me. Um, as you might know, I am the famed <laughs> wizard Shine Bright." Uh, and he says, "He actually, he actually, no, he actually." displays what you what you perceive to be genuine gratitude um and he oh. says thank you i i can never repay your <laughs> kindness oh. uh for the you can try, though. <laughs> <laughs> and he he he's just seems like just this posture of genuine uh of genuine thanks uh, and, and and he he implores upon you now that this has been conquered now that you've taken care of goose if you can come to my tower to revenge me of master noak i can reward you handsomely revenge you and how, uh go you ahead know. i'm sorry how should we revenge you how how can we do that all i wish is to be turned back to my normal form and to have my tower back <laughs> And how do we know that you're really this wizard, shine bright person and not an imposter? If you get a wish, you can venture down into the town and ask the folks around and they will tell you. And like I said before, it is apparent that uh, it is apparent that Noak has been operating under my name. However, I am indeed him. I mean, the little orc fella kept saying, like, you know, this sheep belongs to Nook or whatever, so... That is true. It seems like a lot for this stinking pile of wool or whatever it is. Yes. I mean, we already have saved you today. I assume back at your tower there may be a reward of some sort. I cannot reward you as a sheep. I will say that much. And I, that's a quitter's mentality. Are, again, I can reward you <laughs> handsomely. You've been a sheep for two years. You that's right. Wool or something. 
I can, can we cheer mom. you, or is that too intimate of an activity? <laughs> So yes. obviously he seems a search. little like there's this like spark of joy in his eyes when he hears the idea of like shearing, but then he says, no, we better not. <laughs> spark of joy. Obviously this was the search party sent. What else is this apprentice Noke going to have waiting for us? that you haven't told us about yet. I don't know much and... because he has imprisoned me fully separately in the backyard. The backyard? In the backyard, <laughs> in, in a closed pin. A closed pin <laughs> of was it a white the picket tower. Fence? <laughs> well, actually, now that you ask, yes, there was a white picket fence, and that was where <laughs> I have been imprisoned. Was it too short, too tall to jump? Really, it was magical. Yes, Let's it give was. him the benefit of the doubt. Despite it was. Everything. Do you think? Do you think I would have spent two years as a sheep for I'm nothing? You me. think I enjoy this? You think I enjoy the flavor of grass? I hate IPAs. Well, <laughs> the <dog's> above. <laughs> nice. So, Wallavar goes over to one of the dead wolves, and he kind of, you know, is picking up the skin suit and trying to mm -hmm. figure out. Um, can I, because you kept mentioning that there was something about them, can we figure anything out from seeing them closer now that they're dead? Um, they so back into something else? I guess if, if you're asking idea. about it, uh, shine bright, um, shine bright says I am a master of transfiguration and it appears that my apprentice has taken what he's learned. And as he's turned me into a sheep, has turned his followers into something else. Uh, and you had asked about what there is waiting for you. Um, there's not too much left. I, I was imprisoned in the back, but I do know that there there have never been um, more than more than six figures that I have seen. Is one. More than six. Yeah, one, two, three. This was five. Four, five. So one more? Well, this is assuming he hasn't recruited anyone else. Let's go kill this idiot, I guess. But he said you don't want us to kill him. We've killed his followers. I want my I want my tower back. Well, for continuity's sake, I imagine we should kill everyone, right? I want That's my right. tower back. <laughs> Shine like Bright just looks at you and quite frankly says, I... I want my tower back. Ah, see, but you won't say the magic words, which is kill my apprentice. Ah. Uh, I you don't say... hate him. I don't <laughs> hate him. And I get the feeling that his we impatience is... Imp do. do what? We shall do what we need to do. Whatever if you are I willing to do. I just... Shot. I get the feeling that he has just... He was never bad as an apprentice, which is what I don't understand. Because he, he was obviously bad as an apprentice. <laughs> if he <laughs> turned you into no, him. until this uh, moment, until the moment that he can that that he transfigured me into a sheep. The moment two years ago. <laughs> I say, I say that he was never. He was never horrible. All I care about at this point is getting my tower back and restoring my good name. Great. Where is the tower? Right. Where is the, the needs to be put down? The tower <laughs> is two miles south. We killed five people, Shine Bright. Okay. Well, I assume. Or one's got three legs. Ah, uh, well, yes. Oh, yes, we did leave one behind. You we can leave me good. here, but I can't reward you as a sheep. I do not have my tower. I do not have my riches. I do not have anything as a sheep. Right. All right. All right. Yeah, where wrap, is up his, wrap up his hooves, throw him on the back, and... Two miles <laughs> south. Is there anything in your tower that can turn you back into whatever you were before? You, know, you said enough, There right? are some tools that I have that some can tools. turn me back into a human. Or an elf, sorry, I oh, apologize. I'm starting to feel like I've seen this show. It's on the Netflix. This is Castlevania, isn't it? I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it delightful? 
Despite the fact, again, anime is he's, that's an American anime. Yeah. One of my anime does, does exist in this mess. world as previously established, and they say kind of. <laughs> I love that show, but um, these no, things, we will be able to operate, or do we need your apprentice to do it? I that's believe one of you can do this. Okay. Gosh. Worst comes to worst, we can kill I... all of them and take the tower for ourselves, as chat has it. mentioned. <laughs> Katie, the sheep is not binging anime. Uh, Shine Bright, <laughs> Shine Bright was an anime fan before. Before I love that the wolf saw the sheep. anime death and he went. These guys are weebs. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. How, how do we He's know like, you're weebs <laughs> and not actual samurai-ish things? Sheep flicks, Chris? I would use a tentacle to kill my friend. Um, I guess we should go to the tower, friends. Is that cool? Or do we need to... Do you need some health potions? We should rest, yes? Or should we let the, the wolf uh, uh, tell... The no, wolf hightailed it, and as far as you can tell, the wolf is probably not coming back. Right, but it's also injured, so should we track it? You know, uh, it'll it'll meet its own end at that point. All right, you have a lot of faith in its. Well, they were pretty incompetent. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> they weren't very good at being wolves in the first place. They should have taken us up on the offer. Before we venture on, I would like to whisper to myself a healing word. Oh, that's okay. a good idea. Uh, and I will do it at a second level. Turd Circus, thank you for the compliment on all the beards in the group. Rico, regrow your beard. Stop going clean shaven. I keep playing police officers, dude. They don't. They keep. If they yeah. hire me for something with a beard, I'll do it. Um, the brother-in-law of an apostle. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you are you gonna, are you gonna be in it. any future seasons of? Uh, I haven't seen him yet. I can't, and I probably chosen. couldn't talk about it. But. Yeah, I figured. Oh, but no. also, yeah. Sorry, I'm a big. Oh, lame. John, why, why are you in? Why are you on a second account? Turd Circus, John on. John on. You're in your non-normal account. Um. So y'all are you're casting healing on yourself. Yes, I just did it. Sorry. Okay, and how much? Uh, it was for seven, so I'm up to thirty now. Okay. Uh, does is there anything else y'all want to do before you head down? Oh, Mark. Okay, that's why you're not John on. I was saying is John. Oh, that's right. John's with you. I forgot. Hey, Mark. Sorry. Everybody, say hi to Mark Bergen. What's up, Mark Bergen? Hi, hi, hi. You're back. I did some some self healing as okay. well. Okay. Um, actually, with Patrick on now is probably a good time for intermission. Oh, it's intermission. Do we have music? Um. But I can't do that for long because I gotta pee, which is mostly why I'm calling intermission. Ah, throw up the throw up the throw up the intermission slides, yo. Um, okay, I am briefly going to a pre-show countdown, so we'll do two-minute intermission, because that's how long my countdown is for the pre-show. Is that good? <laughs> Perfect. BRB, um, Sam. Um, just because I'm a benevolent DM, do y'all want to take a rest? Yeah, that sounds great. Short rest? I mean, I don't need it, but I'll do it. <laughs> y'all i mean at this point nobody knows aside from the wolf that disappeared nobody knows what has happened so yeah. do with that decision what you will we'll we'll take we'll take that that sleeps and get up in the morning and go slay some tower that sounds good okay we could uh we could go into town maybe you want to go into town okay maybe i i feel like maybe. uh uh i report because you the, what you just said as a benevolent dm if we were about to go adventure further toward this tower and we just had some murder occur They're like hey y'all 
Um, just so you all know, we're taking what we assume. I guess I'll report it to the local authorities. We're taking uh, Shine Bright to his tower, so we assume. But be on the lookout for crazy creatures that could be people. Mm. Um, so, yeah, issue a warning to the okay. local local guard. Okay, so y'all will head into town and take a long rest? Yeah. Oh, I can play guitar in the interim if you guys want to take a break. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. If, we go, if y'all want to mute and decamera yourself, you can. You don't have to. I am going to take a bathroom break. And thanks, yeah. Rico, for entertaining the group. I can sing a ballad of what we did. Yeah. yeah. All right. Be I'm like gonna that. pause. I'm gonna mute and camera de camera myself. About there once was a party of adventurers, a handsome tiefling, and the rest. A big hairy minotaur that smelled like a dog when his fur was set ablaze. Gregor the paladin who got struck a load. And Zephyrin he drew it from the circle of the moon where well, these friends of mine Ventured into a town and looked so beautiful. So we decided to loaf around and have a picnic on a beautiful mountain. I guess more of a hill. Overlooking everything until a random sheep came by buying over the hillside. And what happened next? You wouldn't believe, but it had a scroll in its mouth that helped us understand the words of animals. We considered eating it, maybe talking to it a bit more, not believing its sheepish lies. But we took it for its word and decided to help it. But just then, enemies appeared. Classic once again, my friends and I, we Try to find a peaceful resolution, but no dice. That was a pun. I guess pun intended. We didn't succeed at saving their lives. Instead, they got tentacled to death. Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast! Most of them died by Eldritch Blast. It's the only spell I know besides Firebolt, which I'll never cast. Thank you, Hannah. Eldritch Blast. It's a badass spell. And my colleagues, one of ours, Zephyrin and Gregor, sent all of these guys to him. Except for one. We let one wolf escape. With a death attack as it ran away, Zeph took its paw and left nothing in its place. We left it to chance that it wouldn't make it back to the tower where its master resided. I hope he doesn't know that we're coming. The element of pride is lost. Does it matter if he knows we're coming? I guess not at all. It doesn't matter if he knows we're coming because guess why? Eldritch Blast doesn't care if you know it's coming. It will still do hella damage whether you know it's coming or not. Eldritch Blast does get an F about your ability to perceive it's coming or not. Anyway, the battle was pretty cool. Wallavar cut this dude, and you could see from his shoulder the blood came pouring out. 
but then he did something nasty. Oh, that's nasty. He, he, he licked his wound with his tongue, which I then shortly afterward, with nether tentacles, Cthulhu tentacles, split his head open into a billion pieces. I thought for sure that would quell the battle, but his friends kept on fighting, few wolves. And I think he was an orc. Doesn't matter, because Eldritch Blast doesn't see race, only sees HP. Eldritch Blast doesn't see alignment. It only cares about whether or not you have HP, because you should have zero when Eldritch Blast is around. You should have zero when Eldritch Blast is around. This song was at first called Wallavar and the Mighty Four. But by the end of this tune, the bard has discovered the true title. Was Eldritch And here I thought I was the bard. <laughs> that I will drink to. Yeah, I was I was playing my my drum along with it. Yeah. <laughs> she has some jimbe. We did a long rest, or did we yeah. successfully do a long? Okay. We're gonna hit the button. Anyway, oh, yeah. let's start a blast. Did you guys see chat? I said it in a voice text or dedicated voice. I did see that. Thank I did. <laughs> Every turn. Are you doing a long or short rest? Oh man, it's even better. Yeah, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Long. It's, uh, it's on y'all. I, I didn't take any damage, and I don't think I have anything that needs to be restored, so. Your spells? Oh, your fancy is Eldritch, <laughs> is Eldritch Blast a cantrip? It is. Yes. Well, yeah, then, yeah you've it's done nothing. Brutal, dude. <laughs> Eldritch Blast Jeez. is like. Every time I play with a warlock, I'm like, I'm going to make a warlock. <laughs> I still haven't. I didn't even, by the way, I had an ability that, like, could shove them back, too. But I figured we wouldn't want to push them too far back because you would want them. I know you wanted to swing on them and stuff, so. Uh, I was like, I'll keep you right there. <laughs> yeah, you can sit there for a minute. Can, My big right friend there. wants to say hi with his sword. Yeah. There's one that you can grab, you can pull them, too. I think it's, like, Arms of H Hater or something. You can, like, Hadar. Yeah. Hadar, thank you. Um which is handy, but I was like, you know, as a warlock, but that's kind of squish. Maybe I should push you away. Right? Well, I am a minotaur, but I'm a bard, so I'm pretty squishy. I'll say if I, if I grab him and pull him and Ooh. grapple him, you Just hug him real good. Yes, cuddle. I would like to cuddle with my free action. Yeah, what, if, what do I roll to yeah, grab? actually we can grapple and then we can cuddle? All right, I'm gonna roll for uh, athletics for my cuddle. Let's see if I succeed. As as there is consent. Oh, this is this cuddle. You must oh, ask for consent no. first. Okay. I got a six. Did I cuddle right? No. Did you like what? Did you like what I did? <laughs> That's a failed cuddle. You went in to try and cuddle, but your feet were too cold, and it was shut down. Oh no! I hate that. <laughs> you were shut right. down. I cast warming, warming embrace. Okay. <laughs> No, you should have a fireball. Is uncomfortable. I take two six mental damage. Yeah, thank you, Fox. <laughs> I'm thinking about it all night. I could have done something different. If only I wore socks to bed, but who wears socks? <laughs> who wears socks to bed? Whoa, oh I can like click on you folks and do see different things. This is crazy. This overlay is nice. Aggressively cuddles. I don't know if it, I don't know if the overlay actually shows up on the stream Wait. or if that's just a stream tool. I think I think cuddles is performance. I'm rolling for performance. I mean, it makes sense. That's a 13. That's not a bad cuddle. I think it's I not think the it's best. A fine it's not the best, it's not but it's the not a divine case. cuddle. Does anybody need to assist? <laughs> oh, get in there. <laughs> I think we might need some help on this cuddle. Yeah. Oh my! Oh. The paladin um, said that oh he was all about it. Rico, what <laughs> right. are you what are you drinking tonight? I oh, this like is to... uh, I think this is actually Aaron's, the gentleman that's supposed to be in our party right now. This is a summer shandy. So, uh, Lining Kugel. Lining Kugel. Yeah. 
Yeah, Atlantic Google. It's a fun. That's a fun summer shandy. That's Chris. You know, Chris Wilson. It's his summer shandies are his favorite style of beer. I'm probably gonna get another one, even though because I took the break to say. Yeah, because you la- stole. I'm last in uh, initiative, so I'm sure when we get when we get into battle, I don't think we're gonna resolve this very quietly. <laughs> so anyone who wants to, we are doing another. I am doing another live stream along with Patrick on Tuesday with Aaron, who is. Rico's roommate, because I was going to ask Rico, but Rico did not come to my house, but Aaron did. So. Oh, dang. Be like that. Dang. Yeah, it be like that. Some people don't think it be like it is, but it do. It do, in fact. Because uh, I didn't get invited either, so we're, we're friends now, Rico. We'll just hang yeah, out on that. We can, yeah. Well, I was waiting for you to show up to my house, and <laughs> you weren't like there. Patrick was there. Chris. Patrick was there. It's Aaron a was there. It's drive. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got done with work super late, and I was like, Aaron, did you? We're, we're leaving together, right? He's like, I'm already there. I was like, what? Dude, I was like, we're supposed to leave together. And I'm like, I was counting on him. So just so you know, when he plays D&D with you, he will leave you to go to town. Just leave you. you to go to town. <laughs> he'll leave, yeah, he'll go. That'll be a fun campaign. I've got Patrick, and I've just decided Rebecca's in this. So uh, good luck. Just kidding. Just kidding. You just went um, <laughs> We got Aaron. Uh, we got some, some of my coworkers. Um, Chris Sabat. I don't know if you know who that is. He's no, kind no. of a POS. Um, oh. A piece of software. Oh, um, yeah. You know. Point like, of sale. Like, he's really good at determining if something's above or below 9,000. That's, as a software, that's his code. Um. So anyone who's watching and wants to watch another D&D live stream, poorly DM'd by yours truly, please feel Come free to on. tune in. <laughs> feel free to tune in Tuesday, similar time, 7 p.m. Central, um, and uh, come come hang out with us. Um, as a side note, let's go ahead and take intermission to just plug all the things we do. Most of you know who Rico is and where he's from, but go ahead, Rico, plug your stuff. Oh, what's up, everybody? Rico Fajardo. Uh, thanks for coming, by the way. Those of me, uh, those of y'all that are uh, part of my community, it means a lot to hang out with uh, my buddy Brett. Uh, we play a lot of video game or a lot of board games before the Rona, uh, so hopefully we can play more of those in the future. Um, On your yeah, channel, uh, I am everything is Rico Fajardo at Rico Fajardo for Twitch. Uh, Two season Rico. Link. What's that? Two season Rico. That's right. Two season Rico. <laughs> I've got. I've, I've got uh, a lot of content coming out of things that I'm excited to share with you guys. I thought for sure I could talk about something really cool that was going to come out uh, that I'm working on for many months, but the Nintendo D- Direct did not address it, so I was very upset. But soon. Uh, yeah, but that said, actor, uh, do a bunch of stuff. Please come hang out You know, on my Twitch. I'm starting to stream up again, but before you do that, hang out with Brett because Brett's going to be doing this D&D thing more and this is like his first time, so you get to watch him evolve as a DM. So it's gonna be dope. It's no pressure. Evolve. <laughs> yeah, I said it's gonna be dope. <laughs> Dang it! You're right. You're right. <laughs> Patrick, you want to plug anything that you and or I do together? Yeah. So uh, I've been friends with this guy for, uh, gosh, how many years now? Fifteen. Two thousand and six. Two thousand seven. Yeah. So 15, 14 years, a long, uh, a long ass shit. time. Um, so yeah, we've uh, we've been friends for a long time, and uh, a couple years ago we started a uh, a coffee roasting business together. Uh, this little bean of mine, um, we just we love having craft coffee and sharing that with others. Uh, and if I could plug anything else, I'll plug uh, Love Thy Nerd, uh, fantastic. Uh, online ministry that really targets um, nerd culture, um, targets a group of people that uh, deserve love too, um, and finds ways to minister to them uh, and just just share and uh, share love with that community. So happy to be Boom. a part of that. Happy to to give them some props too. Rebecca and Chris, do y'all want to plug anything? Oh uh, no, never. 
<laughs> Wait, okay, yeah, so a couple things. Um, so like we said at the top, we uh, we have our nonprofit here in Columbus. That's Columbus Got Game. So for people in, you know, the lovely South Georgia area, Fort Benning area, um, we are doing game nights every other Saturday. So we have in-person events. We're about to build our physical space. But if people want to see what we're about, it's Got Game GA dot com i'll drop that in the comments and you can see our events there's ways to donate we're a 501c3 so we only exist by the wonderful donations of the people that believe in what we're doing and trying to help others um so we're going to be kicking in the high gear we're going to be streaming soon we do have a twitch and all that so hopefully we'll be doing some stuff together because we do all those cool hangs and do stuff for folks as well um, but I also hang out with all those wonderful people over at Love Thy Nerd. I am co-host of the Pull List podcast with Hector over there, and we talk comics and faith because we are totally nerds, and I just have too much nerd stuff, so I buy nerd. things, I read comics, mm-hmm. and yeah, such a nerd. Why do you let that guy do things? Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll be cranking the show back up here uh, in August. We take the summer off so that we can breathe and do other nerdy things for a little while. But we love talking about comics and how just like, not just the books themselves, but we are friends with tons of creators, artists, um, writers and whatnot. And we bring them on our show to talk about what the industry is like, what their experience has been and why they love the thing that they do. So we are all about all those things that are nerdy. And then when we get bored, we come and hang out with Brett and do D&D on the interwebs because that's apparently a thing. That's how bored they get. That's sad, sad. but it happens. What are you doing with your Friday night? Get off me. I'm going to be Eldritch blasting with my new friend over there. So anyways, I was blasting. But at least you have a theme song now. Right, yeah. (laughs) That's the best I got. That's the best I got for my uh, Danny DeVito, which... I found out, I don't know how I never knew, Danny DeVito directed Matilda, so uh, not only did he star in it, not only did he star in it, he directed it, and like super took care of the the main actress whose mom had cancer and was going undergoing cancer wow. treatments and like made sure, anyways, I found this all out on Reddit, um, so crazy, Reddit yeah. Is- Place of information. Mara Wilson. Thank you, Mama Donovan. Mara Wilson. That is correct. Um, I remember she tweeted once, like, who's your favorite, like, half Jewish child actor with magical powers with a nickel allergy and, like, all these things. And it's Daniel Radcliffe because. That's oddly specific. Oddly specific indeed. Uh, But that's. Mar- Mara Wilson. Anyways, um, appreciate it. I appreciate you guys plugging yourself. Feel free to follow all those things. This little bean of mine and love thy nerd at Rico Fajardo and Columbus got game slash got game G a dot com. Is that correct, Chris? Yep. And Rebecca, do you want to like plug your bank or? No. no. <laughs> and Rebecca is the support system for Chris, which is significantly more important than pretty much anything else that Chris does, because Chris could not subsist without a support system. Without, without an amazing wife who's been here for a very long time, and she hasn't left yet, so it's a very good sign. Yeah. That is very impressive. Um, right? Brett's only known me for two years, and he's like, how do and you I'm do already, it? And I'm already almost out the door. Yeah. <laughs> I did my best to try and kill you to do a full TPK just out of spite for you, but I I couldn't. The dice weren't in my favor because I kept rolling threes for the villains. Yep. We find our heroes having finished a long rest at the top of the hill near the town. They are aware that Shine Bright slash Noakes Tower is two miles south of where they are. Has it been renamed? Is there a sign on it that said Shine Bright and it's like crossed out and it says Noakes now? No, because w- there is this understanding that Noak has been doing business under Shine Bright's name. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's- so it says no serious identity theft. Right. <laughs> it says it says no admittance except on party business. Oh, he's a friggin' hobbit. He's a halfling. I hate halflings. 
Ash is racist against halflings. I'm just kidding. I'm totally joking. I don't see race except halflings. Uh, except for halflings. <laughs> they wronged me. The hairy uh, feet. Yeah, I'm... Feet. Colin, I know you spelled my name wrong. That's why I spelled your name wrong, too. So... Uh. Colin, uh, man, Colin is another one of Patrick and I's college friends. So Patrick and I went to college together, as he previously mentioned, uh, and Colin is in here. Casey Panda King, just want to give a shout out to him because he's been just a, an incredible friend. So, Colin, I thanks for the uh, the hot sauce we made for uh, Spice Fest. Oh, I remember open. that too. Um, we uh, we marinade and ferment in the fridge. Uh, opened it up a week later, and we had to clear out the entire dorms. Yeah, no, uh, I remember. It was so toxic. <laughs> so, um, so Patrick and I went to a very, 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 very tiny Bible college, which uh, at its max had 420 attendees, of which myself, Patrick, and Colin in the con comments uh, were three of those 450-ish. So very, 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 very tiny, very tight knit community with fiery buttholes. So um, we rejoin our heroes. <laughs> Good transition. Keep going. <laughs> we we had we had a we had a annual uh, an annual party uh, called Spice Fest, which was just a spicy competition and brought in a lot of really fun stuff. It was actually one of my favorite things. Uh, another one of our mutual friends, Eric Kitten, was the, the guy who organized that. I think I may have. No, I've never introduced you to Eric Hitt and Chris. He was at the pipe night, Rico, that you abandoned. So uh, that's on you. No, I was abandoned. But you can understand the story however you please. Uh, I read the text <laughs> a, messages. A, I read the text team messages. Team, I and, understand. <laughs> and Aaron said, Rico, I am driving myself. You have yourself right. And you said, absolutely, Aaron, I am driving myself. Uh, 100%, this is not made up by Brett. And that's how that conversation uh -huh. went. <laughs> we I rejoin our for, heroes. Roll for, on... <laughs> mm. roll for perception. See if I'm lying. Let's see. Come on. Oh, it's just a 10. Oh, Ooh. you, as far as Good you can tell, you Brett is telling the truth. Poo -poo butt. <laughs> Brett is just telling the truth, despite the fact that your history check probably would have revealed that you were the one who did not write that. We rejoin our heroes on the hilltop. They have recently defeated a massive brown bear, brown bear, two large wolves, and a half orc named Goose. Uh, one wolf escaped with his only three legs intact. Uh, our heroes have just finished their waking up. Yeah, from a long rest. They are nice, relaxed. Spell slots are refilled, and Did everybody we camp on the hilltop. Or yeah, the inn? yeah, no, y'all, yeah. y'all camped on the hilltop because it was a nice hilltop. It was a great hilltop. So, no, you know, and then step on the flesh of our ex with the exception <laughs> of with the exception of Ash, who went down to the inn because Ash was like. <laughs> A hilltop will not do. No, I'm just yeah, saying, after killing five people. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. And, and, uh, and Zeph was like, I probably can't spend any more of my parents' money, so I need to spend the night on the hilltop. And oh, Ash that's, was that's like, that's I don't it. care about your parents' money. I have an overladen wallet from our last adventure and went right. down. It's but heavy. Uh, so the, the party is on top of the hill. Ash comes up. Ash, k k how do you, Ash Kikor? How do you say? Oh, it? Ash, yeah, Kikor. Ash, Ash, k Ash Kikor. Kikor. Um, <laughs> I feel like if I said that get fast it. enough, I could get it correctly. But Kikor. Ash Kikor. Kikor. Yes. Uh, or I depending on how you want. I core. Uh, I no. I can't. I can't. I don't understand anything about this. So, Ash I core uh, rejoins and sees everybody still asleep on the hilltop and says, "Would you uh, 
minotaur friend of mine, would you like for me to cast uh, the spell of flight upon you so I can fly you over and see if there's anything crazy going on in this two-mile journey we're about to take? Flying minotaur is awesome. You can make me fly? Yes, it's a spell that uh, I haven't used, but uh, just make sure to land before it wears off. How much How time is that? Can you have to fly? I'm going Let's to cast see. it on you right now. I will allow this. I think your range, it's 10 minutes with 60 feet is the movement speed That's for the duration. Tough. But I will allow this because I like it. <laughs> it's been good knowing you all. The Minotaur <laughs> is about to fall from the sky. <laughs> good luck. So you're giving me a Red Bull? <laughs> I'm literally giving you wings. you wings! I just thought it would be a good idea to, to scout a bit. And, you know, you with your Minotaurian eyes, you might be able to see something. So, if you want. You don't have to. We can save it. Well, Too late! No. Fly. <laughs> 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 All right. Nope. We're in this. You cast, uh, you cast Fly. Uh... You cast fly on Wallavar. Wallavar is immediately thrown into the air. Yes. Does he touch um, a willing creature? Does he get flying? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, so you have flying, but you have full control, Wallavar. But I you can... don't get question. <laughs> and I start doing like figure eights and stuff. No. Because... <laughs> flown before. This hey, is wonderful. Outlandish Wait, Fox, I'm thanks sorry. for drop dropping in. We really appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, we have mission, right? Which, which direction is tower so I can, I can use this for this gift that you have given me for the good of party. Shine bright two miles way. south. It is two miles south. south. That way. Two miles south. So he starts going north because he doesn't have any concept of direction. <laughs> And and Shine Bright says the other way. Yes, yes. He turns around and so he looks back to the south and flying what? Minotaur. <laughs> yeah. I whisper to the rest of the party All on right. the ground. I just always wanted to see this more than anything. <laughs> so, so I'm looking to the south and what do I see? I don't even know how to come. What do this. you see? What do your I, I wish I could see? tell you. I wish I could. Oh wait. Oh, we're gonna get a map. Hey, look! The Minotaur saw things. You can you see. Uh, you guys. Yeah, yeah go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go ahead. Well, I'm gonna say what I see, so you. Yeah, probably no, you go, go ahead. Do it. Okay, I I see. I is I think it's tower with a couple outbuildings and such. Yes. So you see three turrets of a tower. You see the lowest lying on the on the uh, southeast corner there. Uh, the middle tower is the furthest north. Is the furthest north, and it's the largest. Um, and then you see, of course, you're seeing from the rooftop, so you don't actually see the inside. Um, and then you see the very tallest tower on the southwest corner portion, and it is significantly taller. So the first tower is probably 10 feet off the ground. You, you notice the second tower is probably 20 feet off the ground, and the third tower is approximately 50 feet off of the ground. They're all connected by bridges and walkways, and you see three, uh, three buildings. Um, you approximate that they're probably 20 square feet each. Amazing scouting. My I saw friend. all of that, and you got it in my wonderful accent the entire time. Incredible. Right. <laughs> I should probably stop my flying. This is very fun, but it is very strange feeling the air beneath my... The wind Ooh. beneath your wings? Yes. <laughs> it's very awkward, and I also do not know how long this lasts, and I'm pretty sure gravity still works. Yes, come down As you now. land, as you land, uh, a random villager, you hear a shout out just from the village says, Did you ever know that you're my hero? And that's it. And then it kind of like cuts off and y'all focus back on each other. 
That was very beautiful. Whoever did that, they should be barred. I know thing about barred. It's good. Uh -huh. So I saw the <laughs> thing. <laughs> you relay. You relay what your findings back to the group. It is two miles south, and uh, that is everything else is up to you. So are these all towers, or is one of them more of a pavilion? The three buildings are standard building size. Um, and the three round portions, uh, are, are actual towers. But one is only 10 feet tall. That's not much one is tower, 10 is feet off of the ground. Yeah. It was so more like a pavilion. I see. Here okay. is here. 10 feet off the ground. 20 feet off the ground. These are off the ground. Not tall, but off the ground. The bottom floor is about that. And then the top one's about 50 feet off of the ground. Sheep. Sheep, I have a question. D what is it? Is there anything we should know as we approach the tower? Do you have any type of defenses that you used to use? I uh, don't know what Noke has put in. I know I've seen at least six, but I cannot vouch for I cannot vouch for that as a specific number. Yes, yes, but you use the magics and such. Are there any type of regular traps or people that you? No, no, no. Oh. My no, everyone knew. If you're unaware, I am, I am Shine Bright. Yes, you master of tra king, king of Transfiguration. In case you didn't know, I am Finithia Shine Bright, uh, and people knew not to mess with me. So I never had any need to protect myself or my tower. Right, but then you become sheep for two years. Yes, but we have been over this time and time again. I, I. I don't know how else to explain it to you. I was taken advantage of. My kindness, my graciousness was taken advantage of. Yes, they make you sheep. I got it. It puts you in the backyard. Yes, yes. The backyard. Yeah, with a white where, picky where fence. Where was the, the white picky fence? I'm not sure <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> it's uh, actually it's supposed to be. I had a different, actually legit, had a different map with like an enclosure, but I forgot to use that map. Don't judge me. Too late. <laughs> so it's somewhere, uh, we'll call it the white picket fence is somewhere around this corner. The northeast. Um, hold on, let me actually capture my mouse on Discord. Colin, thanks for driving by. Peace out. Let me see if I can adjust capture cursor so that followers can also see. Cool. Um, so this area was a white picket fence, which is where he was taken care of, where he was imprisoned. It is not capturing my cursor, so. Nope. Nope. Oh, there it is. There it is on Twitch. Okay. Um, you can see it on Twitch. It is the bottom right hand quadrant between bottom tower, mid tower, and bottom building. There is that little tiny triangle it's not capturing on discord so best of luck to you it's okay we multitask with multiple devices in magical realm we're good but we should still be careful <laughs> well, we do not know what this noke character has done well the, he to... sent out an orc to fight for him yes. and Fancy man just eldritch tentacled him into the ground, so I'm not really worried uh, about it. And you I... hear from the reaches of the grave, that sheep belongs to Master <laughs> Noak. This eldritch, this eldritch blast, can it's you not... teach that? <laughs> I wish I could. It's something that comes naturally to those who crave doing good in very bad ways. Well, I I crave doing very bad things to very bad people. 
Is that close enough? Yeah, see, that's not. Nah, that's not what I said. No, it's not but that's same. okay. When okay. you work on it, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll try my own. <laughs> You're a paladin. You Why would you ever have tentacles flying out of your shield? <laughs> we all serve a uh, greater being of our own choosing. This is fair. They can they can grant their own. Powers, Cthulhu, for instance. Did we make it to the tower? Are we? <laughs> All right. So did y'all even head out towards the tower? Because you didn't. I thought never... we were going that way. We were following the flying minotaur. No, you. No one ever told me y'all were going towards. I'm the tower. sorry. I was following the flying minotaur. <laughs> so do we like s string the sheep up and carry it, or we? He follows. I mean, he's he's pretty anxious. Okay. To, to get everything back, so he, he uh... moves swiftly. Yes. Well, are we walking swiftly? It's a two mile walk. I don't yeah. think we need you to move run. swiftly. You move swiftly. Wearing heavy armor. I don't feel like running. <laughs> um, you all run. You all arrive out of breath, and you all arrive with a dis disadvantage. So sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, J K L O L. Uh, okay. About ten minutes before me. Let's go at a normal speed. Get there. <laughs> well, okay. So you arrive at the house in the woods. Ooh, the house. What? The t the tower in the woods. Rather than stone oh, okay. or glass, the house before you seems to have been formed from living branches, of Ooh. four sturdy Ooh. oak trees. These have been shaped and woven to create three thick platforms. The lowest of these platforms is roughly 40 feet across and sits roughly 10 feet from the ground. The only obvious route up is a gentle slope formed of roots and branches that connects roughly with the main path. Besides curl, uh, curl or branches curl around its base, creating a rough bowl shape around it. From where you stand, it's possible to see flowers, small trees growing around its edge. By far the largest of the three platforms is the middle one, which looks to be about 60 feet across. It is about 20 feet above the ground and fully enclosed with a wall formed from twisting branches. You can see evenly spaced window-sized gaps as well as appears to be a door at the point closest to the garden platform, which is the lowest. The final tallest platform is roughly 50 feet above the ground and is much smaller than the others. It looks to be the central platform. It looks it, it looks to be linked to the central platform by another small slope. Scattered beneath the platform are two small wooden huts and a large outhouse. I say we go straight up the middle, sneaky style. Sneaky but, style. Do these have these don't have roofs? They do. Okay. They do. They are all kind of formed of interwoven branches. Okay. As such. Okay. So does it appear there's something to grab onto since they're tree like? Yeah. I mean, I mean, these are full on like living walls. So there's quite a bit that you could probably grab onto. So the first one's 10 feet off the ground, the second one's 20. And the third one is six. And these are all supported by large oak trees. So there's like an oak tree and then like a platform that each one is sitting on. Yes. Interesting. I would like to go into the, the tower. Which one? Should we, ch should we make sure there's nothing behind us before we go tripsing up this tower and let something prevent us from leaving? Yes, I think I I would like to check um, for any dangerous traps. Okay, uh, go ahead and uh, give me some yeah. investigation. Yeah, looks fine to me. Everything looks great to Zef. Zef just kind of half <laughs> hollers out, "Looks great, guys." <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> you mean sheep? Oh, oh sheep. sheep! 
bad. That's very bad. <laughs> All right, um, so up to the lowest tower, or are we just going to... What are we going to do? Do we want to check the buildings on the ground to make sure that there aren't any more of his bear, dog, wolf, minion people that will come up behind us? I mean, I said everything looked fine, so... I, will, I, I bet there's probably treasure or some things like in there, but I kind of want to go straight up the gut. Or climb, climb the, uh, what would be the, what is that? One off to the left there? The Dallas Tower? Oh, that's, that's a tall climb, my friend. That is a tall climb, but that's why I'm saying we just go through the middle. Just go straight, oh, I mean, you know, right up the stairs. And just take our time. Sneaky. <laughs> and Hide I, like, in the shadows. <laughs> I, like, just shimmy a little bit. So you can hear my like armor clink. I I'm not the sneaky one, my friend. Can ah. you hear? Did, can, you, did you hear cast the invisibility? Movie? But they'll still hear me. I, you are. know what? I I uh Ash decides to open just open the door to the tower. Well, let's do this then. <laughs> so you're just y'all are just going straight up to the right witch the tower stairs. I mean I am I don't know what my colleagues are doing but I'm going up the tower okay. I don't know about the rest of you but I'm going to follow tentacle man because he tears <laughs> to kill everything he sees I'm going to ask the sheep our, our, our good friend here uh, where in this tower uh, do we need to go? Where, yes, where yes, are yes. his things? tools? Where are his tools that will where help us get him back into his normal form? So exactly. The first tower is that's my garden. Um, uh, the the largest tower is my main living space, and the tallest tower is uh, is my bedroom. And the other the other small houses. That's where are, the magic happens. Or for different. Right, that's where the you. magic happens, but okay. that's not where I keep my magic. Got it. Yes. Very new. That was very confused by that. And the three, the three buildings. Uh, those were previously I had l allowed Noak to sleep, um, and I had some other places just for. So I had a small outhouse, uh, which is the. The, the smallest building uh, in between my, my three towers. Um, it was You mean a latrine? A latrine, <laughs> indeed a latrine. Uh, the, bottom, the bottom, the southwest uh, was, was Noak's room, and then above that was just a, a community hall. Well, no I'm... wonder he betrayed you. You stuck him in a little box. Yeah. He was more than grateful to be in that box. Uh, clearly not enough. Uh, is there anything dangerous in your garden? Because I'm about to enter it. Uh, n not since I've been in there in two years. Wonderful. Ash enters the garden. I follow. Okay. Well, no. Go ahead. Oh, I go with them. Like I said. And Tentacle men bring death everywhere. And Zeph? Um, uh, Zeph will stay with the party and go to the garden. Katie, the sheep the yes, the sheep is staying with you. Uh, Katie, you missed some, but not a ton. When was the last time Katie was in? Uh, it depends on whether they're flying Minotaur or later. not much. Not much, Katie. We are ex getting into into Noak's Tower, so. Or shine bright star, depending on how you uh, perceive this. How you see things. Yeah. I don't think sheep can own real estate, so sorry, mm -hmm. bro. Uh, but this sheep, I believe I can. <laughs> As you open okay. it, you walk slowly. Um, I mean, before you even get to the sloping platform, you're immediately accosted by three large apes. Uh, roll for initiative. Oh, man, I took off my cans for two seconds. We got in a fight? Right. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I Good. wonder whose fault this is. Fault? 
You know, uh, I blame the sheep. The first person to cast have... stones. <laughs> right. Um, this is lovely woodwork. Did you do this? <laughs> I rolled a three for initiative, by the way. You. Yeah. Hey, tank. <laughs> Thanks for tanking. All right. Gregor. Olivar is a 16. Ash is a 17. And Zeph is a... I didn't see you. I apologize. Is a 6. Um, just for clarity, I will go ahead and have the sword out at this point. Okay. Sorry, almost done, because I'm handwriting everything, because it's what I do. It's that personal touch. Give me just one second. I'm going to refill my bath. I'll be like 10 seconds, hopefully. It better be another long. line in Google. It is going to be. 10, 9, 8. Bad right. things happen. All right, um, we'll have to wait for Rico, because he he's fresh to the seventeen. Mmm. Mmm. Be glad you killed the brown bear, because hashtag DM insight. Um, that would have been. Uh, he would have been ran his way back, ran his little booty back, his little Charmin booty. Yeah, and we said no. Luckily, because you would have had to fight, fought three apes. A bear. <clears throat> and a bear. Well, no, we don't, because that bear dead. He's dead and dumb. Where? <laughs> Where's HP for these apes? They have zero. Yeah. Oh, They've okay. got like. They're, they're like one. They're like rats. We're just going to push them over. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes <laughs> sense. That's how you create. To... Where sources? Monster manual. All right, and... that was, was long, 10 seconds. That's embarrassing. Three. I also was able to pet my cat and use oh. a restroom. So. Oh, that's nice. worth it. It was a solid use of time. I'm popping my beer and petting my cat and going pee. Anyway, all right, I'm ready. All at the same time. All at the same time. That's uh, two-handed weapon fighting. That's uh, my a dexterity, ambidexterity. Okay. Hold on. Let um, me grab my monster manual because it's not showing up on my D&D Beyond. Let me grab my monster manual. Look at that. He's going analog. Man, I burned that flight spell. I should have. Yeah. I did no. it mostly for fun. And I'm like, damn it. That's okay. Here we are. That's, That's all right. That's okay. You could, you could have had a flying Minotaur tank flying around know. the room, just dropping things on people. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I still got some, some other things in my sleeve. My wizard Ooh. sleeve of wizard. Sleeve of wizard. Three. It's mostly months. tentacles. Don't let him. Yeah, actually, there's only tentacles. You're a warlock, Harry. You're a warlock, Harry. Hagrid, I can only have one spell in this book. Uh, You're a warlock, Harry. That makes sense. Okay, so they're in the appendices. That's why I didn't show up immediately. And they're right there. Okay. Got it. Shout out to Analog. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, wizards and Analog. Okay. Um, yeah. Thanks to our sponsor, this little bean of mine coffee, for Did supplying the DM and one player. Okay, um, Rico, um, Ash, you are, you are up. Well, anyway, I started blasting. Um, <laughs> we're going to Eldridge Blast. Uh, how many of them are there? 
Three. Three. Uh, Three. The one that is closest to us, I'm going to blast. Okay. Um, it looks like I've rolled a 10 plus 7. That's 17. That hits. I'm going to roll some damage for that. And it is uh, 8 plus 4. That's 12. I'm going to make use of, I think, because he's the closest one, uh, what is the ability that knocks it back a bit? Um, oh. He getting fancy with his magic. Yeah, so with this Eldritch Blast, just because this one's a bit closer, I'm going to knock him back. I forget, what is it called? Hang on here. Got it here, I've got it here. Um, class features, is that what it is? Uh, ah. Might be. Yes, yes. Eldritch, so. so Eldritch Invocations, this one's called Repelling Blast. Agate. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push the creature up to 10 feet away from you in a straight line. I'm going to try to push it into another one of his homeboys. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that does, but I do it. Um, okay, so you're going to push him into one of his homeboys. Um, go ahead and roll for... Uh, so you rolled for damage, and it's shoving it. Um, Is there a strength save or anything? Yeah, we're going to do a, a strength save. Um, let, me, let me think. Yeah. And make him bowl him over a little bit or something, you know what I'm saying? And at a nine, I'm going to say he fails. Um, yeah, fails. And they they each take, uh, so you hit ape, ape number one, uh, and ape number one is knocked into ape number two, and they both take two HP of damage. Oh, hell yeah. I hit you with your own friend. All right, now we're going to double up. And hit that same dude I just pushed again with my other tentacle. Um, so I started blasting, y'all. Um, let's see if we so hit. So where did we start a blast? Oh no! Crit fail. So one, seven, so eight. Nope, not ones is a not ones is a not ones. All right, that's cool. So I'm uh, Come on, go go web. Go, so go your your tentacle, um, for whatever reason, your uh, um, my mind just went. To, I want to say sponsor your sponsor, your warlock sponsor. I'm going with it because yeah, this is a this is sponsor. a D D world where anime exists. So your warlock sponsor, your patron, um, your your Patreon, uh, you're a subscriber yeah. to this world to this Patreon. Subscribe spirit. to my Patreon. Nothing um, like your, uh, your tentacle reaches out, trips you, and you take three HP of damage. Ooh. Wait, what? You All bust right, your nose. Fine. Your nose is broken <laughs> All right. Three HP. All right, three. You dare doubt your benevolent <laughs> DM? All right, I'm at 35. I, uh, I want it to be like an infantile tentacle. <laughs> it whips me. <laughs> Just her patron uh, giving you a love tap. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of your blood. A little bit of your blood once in a while. Mambo <laughs> tentacle number five. Eldridge Blast number five. <laughs> okay. Um, Rico, you've just taken some damage. Um, sorry about that. Ash Wallivar, um, it is your turn. You just got done exceedingly tickled with ashes display yes it is me um <clears throat> so what's the layout of the room here where where are my apes at and where are where is the party y'all are approaching from the south towards heading northward to the first ramp okay on the, on the southeast on the southeast room so you're still down in those squares you're st you're still in the clearing all right so how far are the three apes from me uh, uh they're about 10 feet that sounds good and my party is either adjacent or behind me correct correct yeah so we gonna do this well of our kind of looks over at at ash and oh tentacle Boy, that didn't seem to work too well. Maybe I show you how it truly is done. 
and Wallavar takes his hoofs out and shakes them back and forth a little bit and looks to the three um, ape in front of him, and he's going to cast Thunder Wave, um, trying to center on the three of them, and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave at level three. So it's a 15-foot cube where I drop it. Um, so I want to get as many as I can. You tell me what that is. That will hit all three of them. They each shake yeah. up a five by Hell five. Yeah. They are all three kind of adjacent, at least in a uh, manner of speaking. Um, and so that will hit a 15 foot cube will hit all three of them. They're in a what? delta formation, idiots. <laughs> and so, uh, quack. 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 So are we? Quack. So let's quack. be careful. Quack. Quack. So I do 14 points of um, thunder damage. So as I take my hooves far apart, I just clap them in the middle. And like Hulk. That, right. And just you get that Hulk wave um, comes out. And they got to do. Yeah, you got to save for one piece of it. So a con save. Okay. I will do... What, what's my number there? Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> Ten. Ten. Okay. I'm going to do this one at a time. Uh, ape number one, which was hit by Ash. Rolls a net one. So... Um, so for, you said you rolled 14 damage? Yes. Uh, what does it look like when he dies? Uh, so when my hooves come together and they clap and the wave just bursts out, it just strikes that ape in the chest and you kind of see him look confused and just like a light switch went out and his neck falls to the side and he just goes flat and gets pushed across the floor to the wall on the far side. He he gone. Okay. Uh, ape number two. So merciful with your lightning. Ape Thunder. number two rolls a six. So same thing that when the hooves come together and the wave flies out, he kind of sees to his left his compatriot, the light of life, gets snuffed <laughs> out of him, and he looks back and looks at me, and Wallavar just looks at him and winks at him as his neck breaks and his body just floats against the wall. Okay, and uh, number three. Rolls a 19. Yeah, he's going to save. Um, <laughs> but let's see. He can tell his comrade's story. Does he take half damage? Yeah. He j but he doesn't get pushed. Okay. He was the best of them. Okay. And, and as a bonus action, I just kind of look at him and go, I smile just kind of evilly and I go, it is not over for you, but oh, you have no choice. <laughs> We're all so evil. He just but... looks and goes, that's Oh, it. he raised his eyebrows? That's oh, it. Let us, let us dance, ape. Zeph, it is your turn. Zeph. Zeph, will you <laughs> kindly light this pool on fire for me? Uh, so who's who's left? Just the one. Just the, just the one. Shredded this guy. All right, so it kind of changes what I'm gonna do, but that's all right. Um. Yeah, so she's going to uh, produce flame and set it ablaze. Ablaze. Fires. What? No, this whole area is made of wood, right? <laughs> yes, we're in a living tree. Yeah. I mean... You're, depending on the spell, you're about 15 feet south, so. Um, yeah, it can go up to 30 feet, but it's a 13, so I don't know if that hits. Um, a 13 will hit. And it takes, ooh, well, 12 points of damage. Okay. Uh, how does he die? Ooh, so this uh, blue flame comes shooting out after him, uh, engulfs his 
uh, engulfs his head on fire, and he just runs around, tries to put it out, and then just falls to the ground, uh, and it's extinguished, and he's gone. <laughs> It yes, seems that our friend got a little hot-headed. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ash shakes his head mournfully. What? Well, that was good. Uh, our commenters don't think so. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Wallabar. <laughs> <laughs> it's Zenry Togeta, so does not... Gave a little, little side-eye at you, Chris. I thought that was for the fire, because they wanted to see some fire spells. So I think they were stoked that... Uh, there was a lot of Zeph excitement for fire. fire around. There was a lot of excitement for fire. So, at that, at the the sound in the light created by the fire, uh, you see this human in a cloaked figure peek his head out. These freaking cloaked dudes, thinking they're so mysterious. His, his, his cloaks pull back. You can tell he's a human. Okay, uh, I thought he was doing that Jedi. That Jedi no, sh- no, right. he's not, no, he's not Obi-Wan. He's being, he, emo is so out, but whatever. I'm like, I'm still yeah, going this is 2021. <laughs> emo hasn't been in since like 2008, so we're good. So he, he comes out, um, and he just says, what are, you, what are you doing to my house? The monkey attacked. I was defending. Yes, of course the monkey attacked. This is my house. Actually, supposedly it's the sheep's house. Do you know the sheep? And then he looks and he notices the sheep and you see a lot of fear just strike his eyes and just say, what are you you doing with my sheep? You mean the sheep that told us that you did something to him? What? That sheep? That is a sheep. A sheep the, cannot the, the, talk. It talk but it, Yeah, it talk. Uh, how, how could a sheep talk? Can I, uh... Real quick. Real quick. Yeah, how could uh, that uh, speak with animals scroll spell last? Uh, it, it lasts, um, it lasts for five days, so... Okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a big old powerful speak with animal. <laughs> Speak with animals. Shine Bright knew what he was doing when he was grabbing that. Yeah, yeah. we should have asked asked Shine Bright. Uh, is this your apprentice? Yes, that is Noke. That's Tell, Ahmed uh, Noke. He has stolen my house. To convince him that we know what we're talking about, can you tell us something that only he would know? Something maybe very embarrassing, like uh, his bathroom habits. Yes, or, just uh, tell him. Great. Just tell him. Uh, Noke is off in the corner saying, what are you doing? But you, Shine Bright just says, he hears, mur, mur. but Shine Bright says to you, tell him you know what is under his bed and you're not afraid to tell his patron. All right. Can I, can I persuade with that knowledge? Yeah. Give me a persuasion. All right. Can I assist? Yes. I got, I got a. So 14 plus 4, that's 18. Roll with advantage. Roll again. <laughs> oh, we can roll, roll again? Just to see if he, yeah, just to see if you get higher. Because he's Wait. assisting you. Got it. I want to know how you assist me. <laughs> oh, I got a 6 in the second one. Quit <laughs> words. All right. Um, say, uh, my charming personality. Well, we happen to know from our little uh, animal friend here that... Uh, we know what's under your bed, you big nasty. Yeah, and uh, it, would be really in your best, it would be in your best interest to help us restore your former master to power so we don't have to just tentacle you to death. And what was your final roll? Uh, you the eight? last was 18. was the better one. 18 was the better? Yeah. Um... He's pretty. He's pretty. He's pretty nervous about this. He is. He was not looking forward to this encounter. Uh, he was. I imagine he wouldn't. Uh, you can tell that he was not expecting y'all to get this far. He was not expecting. He was expecting rather. You can tell that he was expecting his um, his minions to return with the sheep. He was not 
prepared prepared for this. You can tell that because well, he's we, very perplexed. You were expecting your guz, was it? The half orc and some bear. To... Of course I was. Of course I was. What do you? What do you? I'm still I very confused. For this so, good orc fella. Why do you want the sheep back that bad? It's a good question. Uh, go ahead and roll me a. Uh, are you trying to persuade or intimidate? Just roll, roll me uh, a. No. Intimidate. Intimidate. Okay, roll me intimidation. Did he? Did he not respond to me asking about restoring his master? This f guy. <laughs> 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 I'm already getting my eldritch blast ready. You can ask him whatever you like. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Despite his kind of, you notice that he has some very wild eyes and he just says, of course, of course I want, I am tired. I am exhausted. I have been working for this, for this wizard for years. I have been begging him to teach me. And he just says, in due time, in due time, in due time, I'm exhausted. I have been working for him for 30 years. With all due respect, for the last two years, all he's been able to say is, bye. Yes, but before that, I worked for him for 30 years, and I begged and pleaded with him, please teach me. And he just kept saying, in due time. Well... You kind of sound like an asshole, because <laughs> he offered to help you, and as far as I can see it, you kind of effed up, sir. I uh, asked this is my him, I asked him, when I get to do more than sweep up his bedroom, and he really? just said, in due time, in due time. He's your master. You sweep his bedroom if you want. Have you not? I'm his... done. I'm... I am done. Yes, we are also done. So, but <laughs> I, 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 like, I... so anyway, we started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did. We did. We try. We tried. Right. We tried. I like we tried. Because he didn't even answer. Um. Can we? Okay. Go ahead. Can you guys think of something? Can you guys think of one last thing? Because I don't think we need to kill him. Can we like restrain him and knock him out? Or, uh, do you know what I mean? Well, he's, he's done some pretty evil things. I mean, he has. And, like, forcefully transmutated someone into a sheep. This is true. But, I mean, you know, this is one of those things where we might be able to handle this in a soup in a non-vital, if we want, if we want. I'm down to eviscerate him, too. <laughs> so, sheep, what, what do you want us to do? Do you... Do we? Do you need your apprentice, or do you want us to paint the walls of your room with his blood? I wonder what's under his bed. <laughs> if you are unaware, I am the great Shinebite. I have people oh, lining shot. up, lining up to be my <laughs> apprentice. But alas! But it. alas! I think, I think I have forgotten one thing. I think I have forgotten that his lifespan as a human is significantly less than mine as an elf. Oh, so you have you have pity for him. I why, have pity, we... I have pity, but I just want my life back. Okay, wait, can I can I, I just want my wait, life back? I want to try to Can I try something? Yeah. I wanna to try to deceive I'm gonna deceive uh Noke and say Explain with truth. I'm going to say, you know, uh, your master has reached out to us to come restore his tower. We could easily dispose of you. But because he has such an unnaturally long life, being the long, long eared freak that he is, um, he is willing to, to train you in the way that you would like if you restore him back to his form. Is this something that you would like rather than death? Uh, roll for persuasion. A oh, persuasion? Okay, because I thought I was deceiving him. Oh, no, oh, yeah. No, you were deceiving. So, uh... Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, go, go ahead and roll for deception. I'm rolling for deception. Good, because that last one was booty. <laughs> Not, oh, no, it's worse! <laughs> All 
All right, it's uh, seven total for deception. Um, he just laughs and says, right, I have I, been I begging, <laughs> I have been begging to be trained. Not even as well, an equal, not even as, as somebody to take on his mantle, just to learn, to assist. And all I do is clean out his damn latrine. He's obviously taught you some, if you were able to turn him into a sheep. Can, um... Can one of us go under his bed to get, like, what I assume is some transmogrification, transmog wand or something? I mean, we're pretty far away from that room. Yeah, you know, you're, right? you're quite a ways away from that. All right. Well, um, I, don't, I don't think we should be the first to swing. He gets... Hmm. Go ahead. Hmm. How far... How far... Up, we, we just got to that first 10-foot platform, right? Right. Yeah. We're kind of in the... You're a good, the like, 120 feet away from being able to get to the bedroom. The top. But the next level up, it should only be, like, 30 feet. Um, It's 10 feet up, about 20 feet across, and then another 10 feet up. So, 40 feet. I have a hold, hold person spell. But that would that would be aggressive, I think. Hold person. I could just hold him still while you guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> Go ahead and freaking ransack everything. I was thinking of just levitating up there, but I can only go 20 feet at a time levitating. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know how uh, helpful that is. need to be closer. Yeah. Just a little bit closer. Just a little bit. Do, 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 do. I live with y'all. Uh, I just don't want to trigger the fight because I feel like this. But there's some way to not do this. But I mean, I feel like we could just do a number on them. The little bridge between the large uh, tower mm -hmm. and the one to the southwest. How mm -hmm. how tall is that bridge off the ground? Uh, so you're going from twenty feet to thirty feet. So it's about. I mean, it's ten. It's twenty vertical feet. <clears throat> Um, cool. Okay. Do we want... Wh what's under his bed, I ask uh, the original wizard, the sheep? Shine bright. Shine bright. Uh, I am really hoping it is my wand. <laughs> I hope. Is it a magic wand? Yes. So... I'm sure you've uh, heard of the great wizard Shinebright, but I I have a confession. To the point. I He's have a confession. A confession. I am not I am not the king of transfiguration I have made myself out to be. I have You're modified a wand of transfiguration really that is to make it a little more powerful than it should be. And that has allowed this, this me. This dude is right. This dude is right. You're right. Take the sheep. Glad we didn't blast. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't blast. So, I'm hoping. But if he has the wand on him, he can be quite dangerous. But the I mean, wand in its under his bed. the wand in in its. I fear. I knew the limitations of the wand when I created it. I fear that Noke has overused it and it might cause some unexpected issues. And so I'm concerned that he might use it and what that would happen. And I cannot guarantee it's under his bed, but that is where he keeps it because he doesn't want things to go awry. God, you okay. are an unhelpful creature. So I, I turned to uh, the apprentice. So this magic wand, you keep your magic wand under your bed. Yeah. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What magic wand? Don't play dumb. How you persuade? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Yes, I, have, I have a wand. I have Shine Bright's wand. Is, is that what you want to hear? I have Shine Bright's wand. Do you have it on you, or is it under your bed? Um, go ahead and roll for persuasion. <clears throat> He's... Oh, 11. I am always armed. I guess that, I mean, like, I imagine he would have it. But, uh, I feel like, should I just try to hold him and you guys can check the bed? I I have an option. Yeah. Um, I, I can burn a, a high slot and try to make him go sleepies. Ooh, okay. I'll be right on top of you if you f up with a with a hold person spell just in case. I'm like, oh, we've got to be out of the way though, right? Or is it targeted? It's twenty. It's twenty feet in front of. Okay. Yeah, and currently, so, and currently, um, uh, Ash is uh, a little further ahead because he was leading the party up the platform, so he's a little further ahead. So I take a few steps in front of of ash and kind of as i'm passing him uh i do the we do the trick like we did in that one time with the dwarfs yes ah yes yes knowing nod <laughs> is that the dwarves or the the gnomes i always uh, called them gnomes okay. <laughs> side oh, note the Gino Elf, I totally, Genomes. totally forgot about this movie and then stumbled on it. A gnome named Norm. Gnome All spelled with G N. Gnome named Norm. And he me. says, and he I pronounces it. Movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. He pronounces it. He's like, I'm a gnome named Gnorm. Sorry. I just had to throw that out there because I totally forgot about that and stumbled on a thing on Reddit that was like so movie facts. I Wallavar kind of focuses for a second and rubs his hooves together and rolls a mess load of dice. Okay. And so if he is at 29 hit points or less, he goes night-night. You guys drank at the same time. That was wild. That's because it was intentional. It was incredible. Synchronized. Where Synchronized is... twig. Should I have tentacled him first? Uh, he is very, very, very unhappy. Uh, you rolled 29? Yes. Mm -hmm. Roll for initiative. Oh. He saved it. He saved an action. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, okay, I was go ahead. Try to hold. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. All right. I've never cast. Just so you know, I've never actually ca casted any other spell in Eldritch Blast. So this is kind of new for me. I hope you all. All right, Ash Icor. Yes. Casting Hold Person, which uh, let's see here. How does this work? Uh, ah. ah, yes. Okay. Uh, humanoid within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom throw or be paralyzed. Ooh. That's better than mine. Sleep mm -hmm. never works. Never <laughs> work. So okay. I have... Uh, uh, I guess that's all it is. So attack save, it says wisdom 15. Yes. Okay. Yep. So let me roll. That is a nat 20... Mm. Oh no! Okay, that's fine. Made him mad. That's we're, all good. We'll just burn him down. He initiative. immediately breaks free. You try to hold the person, even... and he just laughs it off. He just laughs it's it fine. off. It's fine. Guess what? You won't be laughing when you have tentacle. Roll for it. Roll body. for initiative. Yes, 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 yes. We tried to do the right thing. Well, like a lot. We tried a lot. 
Uh, I got 15 for initiative. 12. 16. I am last, quite confidently. Hey, hey, <laughs> are you going to tank at any point during this tank adventure? Y'all keep running ahead of me. I don't know. How <laughs> You're so fast. You're so eager. <laughs> we really are. To die. Wait. Time to die. Die. Wolgar runs. Wolgar okay. rushes. All right. Um, so you rush, and uh, y'all jumped in. Wolvar, what really? do you do? Wolvar. Right. Well, uh, I was like, so, um, yeah, uh, my bad. Um, <laughs> it did not work the way we planned, sir. <laughs> but, uh, how about instead you take a little, watch me! And I um, slam my hooves together and cast a Thunder Wave at the second level. So That was would... great against your friends in this room earlier. Right. Um, so I'll need a, a con save for some dices. Let me roll the 18. Yeah, so he'll save, so he'll take six damage. You said they. Is it just, very, just the one guy? Yeah, huh? it's just, so far it's just Noke. You've already okay, killed so the games. So Noke so uses the they, them pronoun. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Honor it. We, we may be about to kill you, but we're still going to call you by our pronoun. <laughs> <laughs> we're very yeah. proper. That's yeah. right. They're chaotic good. Chaotic yeah. good. Good. Not good chaotically. Just... Not good chaotically. <laughs> this is fine. Ash, you watch yep. this thunder wave. What do you do? Ah, yes. Well, our wombo combo did not work earlier, so we're going to do the other wombo combo, which is Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast! And it's uh, 12 plus 7, which is 19. That will hit. I roll for damage. It look, oh god. It's a one plus f four, which is five. But it happens again because there's two rays. Oh two my gosh. Rays, which is uh, looks like 24. I believe that hits since that the will last hit. one hit. And uh, oh god, such pathetic damage. Uh, six. So five and a six. Tentacle, tentacle. <laughs> so anyway, I started paralyzing. <laughs> I, I started paralyzing. Uh, Zeph, you watched, you watched Ash start paralyzing, and it's your turn. Should I have knocked him into the wall or something? It's fine. So Zeph, uh, the magic didn't work in the earlier fight. So she just takes on her wild shape. Okay. Yes. And you watch as she transforms into a brown bear. Yes, the bear. Poetic and justice. Then... <laughs> I think be better at this. Did you learn? Better. Yes. Oh no, she's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah. Incredible confidence. I think yeah. Wild shape is bonus action. Uh, how far away am I from him? Uh, you are. You are ten feet away. Oh, okay. That's easy. So I go right up to him. Uh, brown bear is multi-attack. So I first uh, slash at him with my claws. Um, I have to figure out how to do a melee. Well, I'll just... Yeah, you just I'll do just the dice. Do a yeah. dice roll. Uh, seven is probably not gonna hit. That will not hit. Oh no! And then, but that's okay, because then, um, his bite. Yeah, his bears bite are thirsty, down. so they attack twice. His they bite hunger. will hit a bomb. And that's a seven plus five is twelve. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't will, hit either. Will not hit. 
Oh. So you just see an angry bear <laughs> flailing. <laughs> she hasn't transformed in a while, you guys. Just relax. <laughs> and Noke, Noke just says... Zeph is going bear again. Noke <laughs> just says... I used to own one of you. <laughs> And, and then, then we, and we, then he uh, smiles, and then he smiles, <laughs> reaches into his cloak. Don't like that. Pulls out what? his wand, his wand, points it toward his bedroom, and immediately out of the bedroom bursts a wormling that looks like a bed. Cool. Guess we know what was under the bed. And it comes around and it flies. What? And what? circles over you. And he he uh, kind of circles down and f tries to position himself that you feel might be a uh, might be a pretty dam dangerous position. How so? Endangering sheep friend or? Um, you just know that there's this wormling that looks like it's kind of made out of a bed. Let me. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. yeah, it's a wormling. It's a mini <laughs> tiny dragon made out of a bed. That's and cute. he's circling over you. Um, like Army of Darkness with like the book that comes alive. And gearing comes up. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, Gregor... Gregor? Is it Gregor or Gregor? I apologize. Uh, Gregor. Gregor, it is your turn. All right, so um, where is our wizard friend? He's, He's just, just like, just inside the... Yes, yeah, directly tower, right? in front of you, about 10 feet, and the wormling is about 20, 30 feet ahead, uh, above you. Okay, but the, the next tower has a closed roof, right? All, all three towers have a closed roof. So the only opening for the wormling is on the walkways? Correct. Connecting the towers? Okay. Correct. Is is he positioned such a way that I can get past him, or do I need to... Is he blocking the door? Yeah, he's pretty much right in the door, because he came... You're probably expecting that he came from the main tower uh, after he saw the fire and light and heard the noises of you defeating the apes that he probably came down across and into the door. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, and then my Minotaur friend is basically right in front of him, right? Correct. Or, uh, no, sorry, um, our Black Bear Ranger friend is. Yes, Black or, Bear, uh, or right Bear, uh, our Zeth Bear, um, our Zeth one of Bear my, one of my is right up front. Zeth Bear is right, in front. Okay, <laughs> right so, behind um, his wall I, of bar. I am going to uh, hold my sword up prepare for a strike, and then I will cast a bonus action Missy Step um, and yeah. appear directly behind him. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, okay. Missy Step is what? a... Bri I'm briefly surrounded by a silvery mist, and I teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space that I can see. That's badass, dude. That is clean. Um, so I will give right you... Behind him. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, allow that as your movement uh, and give you advantage. Not even my movement. Not even your... Okay. This, okay. It's a bonus action. Then I um, will give you advantage. Yep, and then I will, uh, Obviously, I will swing in with the bait. Yep. I'll swing in with the blade after that. Then. Okay. Go ahead and roll All for right, so... attack. Finish him in one with the misty step. All right, so 27. 27? Yeah, 27 is going to be my high. It was a natural 19. Not okay, a uh, yeah, that'll hit. 
And because um, I like that, so you you get advantage on your your damage roll as well. All right, and I got a uh, fourteen damage. Yeah. And how does Noke die? Oh my God, we killed him already! Oh Sweet. man, I just <laughs> missed putting him. <in> <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna. Like, that was close. I've got this like really thin, like four foot long blade. So I'm gonna do the anime blade death thing and yes. like splash. Make it like multi slashes like, though about, against. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the uh, the uh, what is it multi? Uh, what is it from Final Fantasy? <laughs> oh, omni slash. Omni slash. Omni slash. <laughs> okay, as you do this, um, like Noke. A bunch of pieces fall. As you do this, like as. You right before your first hit lands, Noke throws his wand, tries to cast something. Everything's slashed, but before you, you see all these pieces of human surrounded, but in the middle, you see a gibbering mouther. Uh, what now? So as the the blade was coming, Noke tried to do like one last opportunity cast and he turned he polymorph transfigured uh into a gibbering mouther just like a blob pile of things that's uh, kind of uh that's kind of gross weird like weird. I, I go from this like slashing like intent to oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And as you sit there staring at this pile of gibbering mouth or with these like kind of blob like with these massive mouth with massive teeth, um, it is our beloved Wall of Ours turn. Did it drop the wand? Yes. Okay. So the the mouther thing though is still there. Yes. Okay. Jesus. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> I would have uh, taken the L, but right. <laughs> um, so I'm just looking at this thing and I'm like, that is the disidious. I, I, I get, I, I'm going to cast a spell at you blob thing because you should not be here. And so I'm going to cast uh, thunder wave again at second level. Wait, 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 wait. Are you still on are you still on the flank? Yeah. Yeah, he's right there. He's yeah. directly behind. I've been fine. I really wanted to though. Then Not like this. Not like this. Not, Not like, like this. this. Not like this. So I enter the fray then with my longsword and I swing at the blob of whatever he is. I just want to note that that's our second Matrix quote of the night. We also have the dodge. Yeah. yeah. And we have the stop trying to hit me and hit me. It hit me. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of Matrix quotes. Today. Uh, so 16. 16 to hit. So that hits. Yeah. Yes. And so I swing with both hands my blade for seven points. Seven points of damage. Of both hands, my blade. <laughs> okay. Um, you see a bunch of gouges in it, but it continues just kind of moving. Uh, and at this point, it is Ash Kicker's tire turn. Oh, time shoot. turn. I almost said those both at the same time. Is it possible? How close am I to the wand? How close are you? You're within 20 feet of the wand. But there's people in the way, right? Yes. If you want to go uh, for the wand, I'll give it to you, but you're going to have to roll at disadvantage. And you're going to have to roll in acrobatics at disadvantage. Uh, you know, I guess since I'm not in the right position for it, I feel like one of y'all would have a better chance at it. Although we do have most of our, our most dexterous colleague is currently a bear. Uh, I think. <laughs> uh, currently. Um, 
me see. Maybe I have one of my. Do I have something here for my cantrip? There's also like a daybed dragon wormling thing flying yeah. above you. That's just... true. <laughs> daybed dragon wormling. <laughs> it's very nice though. It's got a dust ruffle and it matches. Okay. Uh, shoot. All right. Um, Using the device like a. Case. I have a. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I have a feeling if we knock this fool out, uh, it's summon will desummon. So, but that's weird though because it dropped the wand. What a stupid thing to do to transform yourself into that. But that's okay. All right, I'm gonna blast him anyway. I started Eldritch Blast in the Gibbering Mash. <laughs> Mass. I mean, it uh, seemed the go-to. Yeah, it really is. All right. Uh, I got a thirteen plus seven. That's twenty. That'll hit. Call him for damage. Oh, hell yeah. I got 10 plus 4. That's 14. Nice, mighty hit. Yeah, that's good. Very, and, uh, very unhappy. This gibbering mouther is just this pile well, of pain. That was just one tentacle. There's another one, bro. Yeah. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that by the way to uh well shit, you're right behind it. So I don't wanna like knock it back. Alright, I won't knock it back. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna blast it again with the other beam. Ooh, not so hot. That's eleven. Eleven will hit. It does? Incredible. Incredible. It's it's a mob. Incredible. Uh and that's an that's an eight plus four, that's twelve. Ooh. That is twelve damage, and describe so 20, to me twenty six damage. This this describe to me thing. the death of the gibbering mouther. All right. So, for a moment, uh, Ash considers the wand, uh, starts to reach toward it, and then goes, "Ah, you should die!" And flicks his wrist. <laughs> uh, a tentacle flies out from his sleeve of wizard, and the first one connects right through. Shot through the heart. Go through the heart. Right there. Uh, which is a nice, like, strong hit. Uh, thinking that it's over, the gibbering mouther maybe, like, kind of shudders and tries to rearm itself. But then, much like the other tentacle that split our friend's head into into a billion pieces, the tentacle that passed through his body splits and then arcs back around and re-pierces him again. And uh, does does our multi-slash attack, but like kind of tentacle mode. So omni-tentacle slash. And I'm like, ha! Ah, I know what you were going for! <laughs> so, uh, I, I wanted to follow through, Gregor. <laughs> As the gibbering mouther dies, so does the flying daybed. Just falls out enough? of the sky and oh. lands directly on, the on Ash. Ah taking 20 points of damage. Oh my god, I'm oh. dead! No, I'm kidding. Would that be <laughs> oh, the splinters... This is the most disturbing Wait, thing I've ever seen. Can I roll for seen. athletics? Uh, or, or... No, because that happened while you were in the middle of like 10 other things. Oh, come on. All right. I'm 10 gonna... other mm -hmm. things. Ash Kikor. Oof. It's a lot of deeps. All right. You mean tentacle things? That's a lot of tentacle things. That's a lot of tentacles. Ah, that really hurt. Ow. Charlie. <laughs> That hurt. That hurt, <laughs> Charlie. You bit me. Oh, this bed fell on me, Charlie. <laughs> of all yeah. the things, I'm a ha! Every crunch. <laughs> you find yourself with the sheep. Shine I'm bright. Pick up the wand. Yes, take that wand. And he says, Will you please, please turn me back into a human? That's. Oh, I want. We should rest first. Get ready to fight his ass. Okay. <laughs> Ash, good. are you okay, Ash? Do I need to get the dead bed off you? Uh, uh, I can crawl out. It's fine. Okay. <sighs> We've been attacked by many things, but dead bed is most confusing so far. <laughs> it, it is poetic justice that the only thing that can hurt me is fine piece of mahogany furniture <laughs> rich mahog rich <laughs> mahogany mahogany I, I go and inspect i don't think it was mahogany i think it was poplar <laughs> that's right do you have any uh woods woods 
Woodsman? Woodsman. <laughs> Are you fine? So fine, it was bamboo. Oh, that's light as hell. I'm so weak. That's all right. <laughs> okay, uh, who has Are. the wand? Ikea. I have it. Okay. I have this at home. It's a flurm. With an umlaut over <laughs> you. As all you, right. As you pick up the wand, you notice that there are several bands of just metal kind of holding it together, and it seems tattered is the best word for this wand. Um, and these bands of metal are holding it together. So, Nectis? I have Arcana. Can I use my Arcana and check it, check it out? Yes. While you're doing that, I'm also going to um, use my Divine Sense uh, and detect good and evil. I've got 16, 12 plus 4. Ah, yes, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what was your... You, you're using Arcana. You determined that this wand is good. And uh, in terms of Arcana, you... What is you notice like is that or? this is a wand of, of true polymorph, but it just seems to be odd that it is bound in metal in such a way. Okay. So did my um did my detecting evil it revealed that it was thing? no the, it it's relatively benign. So it um tells me uh I know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet and uh, can detect evil and good. Yep. You you can okay. tell that there's pretty much nothing going on. The overall Except clearing our, is safe. Our and my fiend friend here. Yes. Uh, even, even that, even, uh, even shine bright does not come up as evil in your detect evil and nor does the swan. I want to rest. You guys can decide whatever, but I, I will. pillage things. Shine bright right. looks at the group pleadingly. That is my wand. Please turn me back into a human. Why is it bound in metal unnaturally, Pooh? That is none of your business. I've revealed I'm too much. I've revealed too much as is. Uh, oh. oh. Hold the uh, the uh, medieval phone here. <laughs> that is none of our business. We've risked life and limb to be here. You either explain this... or you never turn back into your normal shape. Is this dangerous to use at this point? You mentioned earlier that he might have made it unstable. Uh, go ahead and give me persuasion. Both of you, because both of you asked the question. Persuasion or insight? Um, persuasion for Rico. Okay. Insight for you, Patrick. Um, Eleven for persuasion. As far as you Twelve. can tell, that he is uh, being relatively sincere. So it is dangerous to use. That is what you said earlier, correct? I said that it is possible it could be dangerous to use. I just need you to turn me back into a human. What exactly do you need us to do? That is a wand of true polymorph. It can take you. And it, 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 is, it is transfiguration. You can polymorph me from a sheep to back into my elf form. I don't need to know any of the spells. I just point to Hickey and you become man. I mean, of course it takes someone with some level of magic. Well, what, what type of magic? We've got Are different you... magics. I look at the group. Are you okay with me using this on him and turning him back? I, I don't like it. I will get us to a safe distance so that if something goes wrong, you all will not be hurt. I'm not a fan. I'm in poor health, 
and uh, this gentleman became rather uh, thorny as we got closer. Not even mourning the death of uh, his little colleague here. Can I search the body of uh, that mass? Is there anything there? Uh, yeah, um, go ahead and give me uh, an investigation. My my friend, as understanding well, your your pain, your recent pain, I'll lay an, uh, <laughs> <laughs> rest an arm on your shoulder and speak words. Be healed somewhat, my friend. We can get through this, and I heal you for uh, ten hit points. Oh hell yeah! Hey, I'm taking that healing. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think we're missing something here, but whatever you want to do, guys. I feel better now. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> I started blasting. I'm going to come out of bear form. Uh, and stand back a ways from wherever this wand is. Okay. You're you're a ways away. You are a safe distance from this wand. I think our bear <clears throat> friend makes a good decision. I too will go to safe distance. Okay, Wallavar walks back and accompanies Zeph. Uh well away from this wand. Can can I'll, I I'll take oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna go up to the bedroom. I'm like, hey, just one before right just give we've already won. I, let me just go check and run up to the bedroom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, you make your way into the bedroom. You make your way past a common area uh, that is filled with books and and lo what looks like just lots of research and a veritable lab, as it were. Um, just hundreds and hundreds of books and just tons of uh, equipment across the tables. You make your way past that room into a sitting room with a fireplace in the northeast corner. It's still relatively warm, and it's just mostly surrounded by sitting chairs and a table in the center. And then you make your way up to the bedroom. Um, you see it's just covered in shambles of where the wormling had flown through the roof. Uh, and it looks like a bedroom. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. It flew through the... Why, you destroyed this place. All right, investigation <laughs> I've got uh, 11 plus 4, 15. Okay, and you look around and you see that it's mostly a bedroom. Um, there's a small locked chest, but everything else seems pretty normal. Small locked chest. Hmm. Can I carry the chest back down to my colleagues? Yes. I do that. Okay. Hey, friends. Uh... I'm not much of a locksmith, but you could bust this open, I'm sure. Uh, I'm still, uh, you know, a little straight. I feel strange about what's about to transpire. But, uh, you know, I'm ready to blast anything, so. So anyways, I was blasted. <laughs> Maybe I want to try to force the lock, or I don't know. Yeah, let's see. I have no finesse. <laughs> you need knock or anything like that. I have a sword. <laughs> yeah, I think one of you can bust it. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, me brute force at this point. <clears throat> I guess I I attack the chest. <laughs> okay, and what's the best roll for that? I don't. I'm gonna use my long sword, so it's just an attack. And... Okay, go ahead and give me an attack. Uh, roll for hit. Uh, 22. That'll Missed. hit. That <laughs> miss. <laughs> miss. <laughs> now that'll hit. And uh, 11, point. 11 that, points of damage to the chest. It ju the chest just shatters. He watches the chest just kind of, it's a, you know, moderately sized chest, about a foot and a half in length and about a foot tall. Uh, and it just shatters. And a bunch of gold just kind of clinks down to the ground. <laughs> yes, nice. I broke the gold pinata. <laughs> yes, it was like a pinata. That was delightful. And Shine Bright is my... like, please, please, this is my life savings. Please just turn you me back into an elf. Promise to us. 
Hey, we got true. paid. Let's go. We're done. <laughs> this is a decent amount of coin. You are true. You aren't lying. <laughs> decent. Please, that is my life savings. I just beg of you, please turn you me back to a, a human. lifetime for this. I don't feel too good about this, but all right, let's do all it. All right, I I walk a little ways. I make sure I'm at least like twenty or so feet away from anybody else. I bring Shine Bright with me, and I um, I guess are we inside the main chamber area? Uh, you were still in the uh, kind of the for the foyer, the foyer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The foyer. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll be in there. We'll just be about twenty feet away from the nearest person. Okay. And I will uh, use the wand. Okay. Give me an arcana check. Can I like, help him on this? Uh, <laughs> if you're willing to be close, then yes. Yeah, I have a. Uh, yeah, before that happens. I um, have stage. Like I have a. I mean, I can hand the wand to any of y'all if you're willing to do this. Time. I mean, I do it. I have pretty high arcana. I have plus four. I think Whoever, whoever's going to cast, I will give Bardic Inspiration. And I can add to that Guidance. Okay. Which so is we'll do... An extra d4. Okay. Oh, that's great. So it we'll do up. Bardic Inspiration, so <laughs> you'll get you. an essentially advantage plus a d4 on both of those rolls. A d8. D8. I was told a D4 by Rebecca. So. Yeah, hers D8. might be. The guidance is a D4. I think Bard against Brace. Oh, it's a D8. Okay. So each of those so rolls will I can get. Add a D4 and a D8. Correct. On advantage. Oh. So. Right, I'm just watching them. <laughs> yeah. I'm buffing the hell out of you. I don't think <laughs> I can't give you anything at <laughs> all. I wish you so, luck. Bonus there you go. 22. 20 or 23. 23. You immediately, you cast a spell, and uh, you watch as this sheep's, as this sheep's fur, uh, what's the fur, their, uh, their coat, yeah. their wool, his wool oh, just falls him first. off of him <laughs> into a puddle of wool, this valuable wool at the bottom and standing before you is this elven wizard in a glorious cloak, because this adventure oh, he's would not. not... Naked? No, no, it's a no, glorious no, cloak. And he says, "Thank you so much, Sheps. I really appreciate you. Uh, no, you can go ahead and be about your way." Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you what? mean about our way? You did well, kind of you promise know, us favors. Yeah, no, I, I, I did that. You, you, you gained so much by learning on this journey. That's what we're all here for, to he learn about this journey. Should we kill him? You still got the wand? Yeah, we still have the wand, too. You're not evil, <laughs> you're just selfish. Yeah, we'll just keep the wand, and I start yeah. picking up the gold in the middle of the room and just kind of... <laughs> Okay, go hands. ahead and give me an intimidation check with advantage because you have the wand. Who's doing this? Patrick has the wand. Okay, got it. You got the wand, yeah. Oof. Glad I got advantage. That's better. <laughs> okay. Um, Shine Bright is immediately reminded that he is not in control here. Um, and you. Never was. Go ahead yeah. and tell me how you intimidate. An illusion. What's your intimidation tactic? Um, so the way I see this is you need to learn how to deal with people <laughs> because you treat those around you and those that work with you and for you like absolute other garbage. And you need to learn a lesson. Like livestock The lesson one. is... You can stop acting like a complete D-bag and yes. treat people with the respect that they deserve, or we can turn you back into a sheep. Or, or I'll just, I'll tentacle you. Like, yeah, you, don't want, you don't want that. You've seen that. <laughs> Quite You've a seen bit already. Nothing there, from yes, I don't think you will enjoy that. So <laughs> you can, you can either let us go with what we have, 
you can hold up your end of the bargain and provide the favors that you promised us. Um, or you can go chew on some grass. Nah. I was, uh, you know, um, as a very powerful wizard, you may have heard of me. I am, uh, I am Finithir Shinebright. Um, fine, yeah, yeah, fine, 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 fine. I can see when I am outclassed. Um, you may take the gold, um, all 600 pieces. Your group may take this gold. And please, I beg of you. Return my wand and tell no one. You no. <laughs> the answer is no. That's not that's not holding up your end of the bargain, my friend. What what more would you ask of me? What about these favors that you promised? What favor would you ask of me? One that would require your specific skill set, perhaps. Mm, it's good. What can you do for us that no one else can? As we take this one that is already in my pants. It I need my deep. wand. Because you obviously do not deserve it. I need my wand to give you the favor. You may take the gold. What is what I is need favor? the wand? Yes. What what favor are you trying to? I'm not very. Bright, I can. You... This is a wand, a polymorph that I have spent years and years and years modifying to be able to make it significantly more powerful than it was ever intended to be. And well, I can years take and years and years yes, any yes, one item, and for one time. Because I cannot use it. I can only use it once every several months. Uh, for it needs to recharge. But I can take this and I can take one item and I can tr polymorph it into any other item that you would like. How long does it take to recharge? Months. How many months? Three months. <laughs> we will be back we, in three months. We will see you in three months. <laughs> I don't, because I, on our accord, your former apprentice that is now in pieces on the floor... We killed him. Just used this. <laughs> yes. Go ahead and roll for intimidation. I, yeah, you're totally right. We just we just used it. Yeah. And actually, we use it on you. He is sufficiently intimidated. Not quite, but he is... He says, might I remind you... That my name bears a certain amount of respect in these parts and, at, and from my school as well. And while my apprentice operated under my name, it would not do well for my name to go missing. I will well, request your, I will grant your request in three months time. If you come back, you may take the gold now. And leave me my wand, and leave me to my work. I, I think we're you are lying to us. <laughs> you haven't lost your name. We've restored that to you. We re restored your form back to you. And if the Not wand yet, is the... useless, we take it with us. We'll yes. be back in three months. It don't matter anyway. He hasn't well, been restored. Y'all haven't restored him yet. Oh. Did y'all restore him? Yeah. Okay. You said all the wool fell off. Oh, gosh, dang it. I apologize. That's on me. That's on me. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Um, so so he he pauses for a second and he, and he acknowledges and says, I understand. But my name means everything to me. And your name will mean a lot on a tombstone. This is true. Your you are not telling us the truth. Your I am telling you. Go garbage. <laughs> if you we want... killed your apprentice. We I, keep I am him down, not. By the way, by the way, uh, Mr. Lightbright, whatever your name is, I've forgotten already because you're so <laughs> silly. I may be. <laughs> I may be. I may be. 
a narcissistic old man whose only yes. trick is a wand that I modified. Yes, now you see your folly. <laughs> Good. But but there are many people who depend on me. My school Life depends rules. on me. This town depends on me. Right. And I just well, beseech your goodwill. And years. I beseech your goodwill. Please. You may take the wand. Return in three months time. I entreat I... upon you. But should I go missing... I we'll cannot promise. Again. I cannot promise that the town, should things go awry in our present discussion, I cannot promise that the town will not revolt. Ooh, that sounds like a threat. Should we That's kill against you? who? Yes. You are not their lord. You You've been gone for two what? years, you idiot. <laughs> okay. I say we go into the town and we ask the town. Yes. What they think yes. Of there we go. Okay. Y'all want to go into the town? You may wait. Here. That's right. Feels right. We will We will go conduct our business. I uh, okay. scoop up the gold with my bloodied hands. By the way, your bed is heavy and uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you leave Shine Bright and head into town. There are crowds of people because they saw the... the the wreckage from the evening before uh, and they saw some burning because it's not too far away enough to see a lots of smoke so they're most of the townspeople are a little concerned so you are greeted as you approach the town by uh, at least a small amount of people you know a couple dozen greetings citizens we found Mr. Shinebright and he was You found Shinebright? Yes. We yes. You We was. have been concerned because have you? we have been calling on him and while things have been accomplished We've only seen Noak. And we love Noak, don't get us wrong, we love Noak. <laughs> you loved him. Yes. But we have yet to see Shine Bright, and we we care desperately to see him. What does he provide to you? What does he provide for us? He is the king of transfiguration. He has taken he has taken a small bush from my yard and turned it into medicine for my daughter. Says one woman. Another woman comes up and she says. He took he took a tree stump and turned it into an anvil for my husband's forge. And Would the, you say it took about three months between each of these activities <laughs> before he revisited you? Because I'm here to tell you he is a fraud and a sham. Uh, he requested us to kill Noak, which we did uh, at his at his <laughs> request. We. That does not sound like Shine Bright. No. Uh, yes, it does why? not sound like him. But guess what? You've all been deceived. But the great thing is, we are now the kings of transformation and queens of transformation. Shinebright has all... done nothing but kindness for our town. It is difficult to live in the truth, my simple, simple A man from the back household. just stomps forward and he's like, What do you mean about this? Shinebright has been great. Noak has been great. Oh, great. Who are you Lovely. guys to determine what is good for our town? Oh, uh, the, well. Nope turns your bloody shine bright into a sheep. So I don't okay. see any sheep. All I you see, can... all I see, is the fact that my brother's bush has been turned into an anvil, so his business can flourish. How long ago did that happen? And why Three months so... ago. Why is the matter? Like, no, this isn't a golden goose. Okay, all right. I'm talking to my party. These I, are we, a bunch I, of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> we have our 600 gold. We have this okay. of artifact rarity item. Let's. Yes, let's leave. You should, you should all go to your master, Shine Bright, and have him help you with all of your things right now, if indeed he is not a sham. Good luck! <laughs> Back in this tower. Yeah. The, the town is left. The townspeople are just kind of very confused, and y'all have to their tower. Yes, Gobsmacked. That's good. As they it's should. Work. They need that. God, smacked. That's going in the chat. 
gobsmacked. Yes, that's right. Well, GGs, my friends. <laughs> yes, <laughs> GGs. As they say in my uh, Cthulhu fiendish <laughs> when you say <laughs> in fiendish, that translates to GGs. <laughs> so disappointed, though. Why is that? Not get to destroy some evil today. <laughs> <laughs> Shine bright perks up a little bit as you've returned to his tower know, and I he know. says he says Nook wasn't always evil and perhaps I neglected him too too much and perhaps I took his mortality a little perhaps this man has learned too, too much in stride <laughs> I, I would implore upon you return of my wand I can make another but it mm. is with great difficulty you may take the gold, but these town people me, do depend on me. <laughs> and should you return to my wand, I will, I will tell great tales of my as I return to my school, as I talk my to my God. patrons, as I talk to the town. And Let's should you not, idiot. should you not, I understand. I, good. I am without consequence. There is nothing I can do. Wondrous. At the very Let least, at the very least, I thank you for your time and killing your for pets. <laughs> it was a it was an unwitting <laughs> sacrifice. It was an unwitting sacrifice that I was not looking forward to. And please, let me show you into my study. I I have another small chest with another four hundred gold. Uh, and he goes by himself. <laughs> <laughs> he goes by himself. Shinebright goes in and returns with the chest that he opens up. Sure enough, there's 400 gold. And he just says, please take this as a token of my appreciation. As a request for your return, I thank you for myself, for my town. You know what? I, I will leave that here as a reminder for us to come back. I mean, I'll take... My portion. I know you'll take yeah. your portion. A hundred, a hundred gold. Going to come back, shine bright. A hundred gold goes to ass kicker Ash Kikor. Um, <laughs> Three hundred gold remains. Shine bright closes his chest. The Downs people, though baffled, understand that the things have been operating in a not so normal way. <laughs> Your Wanda True Polymorph remains frayed and covered in metal band metal bands. It's stuck down my pants. Stuck down the pants. Deeply. Of Gregor. <laughs> our good friend Deeply. <laughs> as our heroes return with the satisfaction of another job well done. Huzzah! Huzzah! Victory! Well done! De <laughs> well done and thank you for participating you. in the wild sheep chase so much fun thanks dude good dm it good dm it thank you we grilled you i feel like we grilled brett on all the conversations we're like what who is this good what thing this on? wasn't my <laughs> first time dming to a group of experienced players guys and gal <laughs> to be a 30-minute campaign. <laughs> yeah, so funny thing, that was supposed to be a 15-minute campaign, 30-minute on the long side. Uh, no, it was supposed to take four hours. We are at four hours and 11 minutes, but we Perfect. were live for 30 minutes before Rico's joining. Rico. Thank you. He just and it involved an intermission <laughs> that had an epic song of... <laughs> it's true. No. An original ballad. An original yeah, right. ballad. A, a Rico original. That's our uh, party. I don't know what our party's name is, but... Uh, the Rat Queens? I don't know. What? what? Oh, crap. Um, no. Yep, that's, uh, another... that's crap. Rat that's Queen and the Eldritch Blast. Another, another uh, <laughs> hot, several hundred yeah. dollars came out of my account for copyright infringement. Um, hey, viewers, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating and commenting. R big thanks to Rico for uh, 
for rating this chat and giving us so many viewers. Um, I will be live streaming another D and D campaign on Tuesday, the the twentieth. Um, my wife and I are working on adoption, uh, and we're trying to raise the last little bit of our funds. And we would be greatly appreciated. Patrick will be involved with that campaign. Um, and Rico's roommate, Aaron, will also be involved with that. Uh, and Ooh. if you're an anime fan, which if you're watching is probably a good chance, Chris Abbott will also be on that campaign. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, one. that's <laughs> right. Um, Zoro himself, his most right. important role, Zoro, will be here. Um, Sorry, Armstrong or nothing, but... <laughs> uh thank you all, right, all so much uh rico thank you for rating the chat patrick thank you for joining and plugging our coffee this little bean of mine chris thank you uh for joining with columbus got game everybody check out uh got game ga.com rebecca thank you for putting up with your husband that is a feat in and of itself every day you wake up and roll a net 20 and i am grateful for that hey <laughs> It's required, yeah. and yeah. every day Chris wakes up and rolls a nat 15, so it's acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Uh, this has been an absolute blast. Uh, our stream is going to end, and then we'll probably do like a quick post-show, because we never got a chance to really all talk before <laughs> this. So, everybody, thank you so much. Y'all have been Good wonderful. Night, y'all. Good night. Bye. Bye. Yeah.